All right, we are back. Hoping that things will go smooth now. I mean, it's been a bit since I've restarted my PC, so hopefully. Let me just tweet out real fast. I notice anytime I, I play for like an extended period of time without restarting my PC, then I start to, to run into these issues. Uh, if not, I'll just, I'll, I'll force rescale it. If it still gets laggy, I can force rescale it. So y'all just let me know. Uh, but so I got my list done. I went back, I looked at all my items, legendary armaments. We got Marius Executioner, Dark Moon Greatsword, Grafter Blade Greatsword, Eclipse Shodel, and Devour Receptor. Mimics, we got Mimic Tear, Black Knife, Red Main Knight Agha, and Ancient Dragon Knight Kristoff. Legendary Sorceries and Incantations. I have one. I have Flame of the Fell God, and that is it. Yikes. Um, Talismans, Dragon Crest, Great Shield Talisman, Godfrey Icon, Radagon, Source Seal, Marika, Source Seal, Moon of Noxtella, and Old Lord Talisman. Um, most of the stuff I remember where it's at. The talismans, I don't remember where I got my Godfrey icon. Uh, and I have an idea of the source seal for Radigan and Merica, but I'm not 100%. I have, like, I think I know where they were at. I don't know the exact location, but I think it was, uh, Ephelio and then Fort Faroth. So I'll confirm that in the actual walkthrough prep. Same with Moon of Noxtella and Ord Lord Talisman. I think those were Noxtella and Fair Missoula, but it's, it's hard to say. So anyway, uh, we are going to continue this way. Someone mentioned that there was a ladder they saw that allowed them to scale the cliffs over here by the Iron Maidens. I don't remember ever seeing a ladder, but that's what we're going to look for. Just a ladder on the cliff side, and this should take me on up. Oh my god, there is. Wow. That blends right in. What? Stop that. Well, how are y'all even throwing your blade up this high? Jesus. Dude, there's so much secret stuff. That's why people are like, where's, where's the walkthrough at? Like, dude, the walkthrough is going to take a minute. Because a lot of this stuff, it's just not easily accessible. Like... The legendary, like, the, for example, the legendary list that I just made, uh, about half the items listed on that, if you try to Google them, you get nothing. Like, the, the, the wiki doesn't know, the power PXY doesn't want know, I have, I have items that nobody has put details on the internet where to find yet. And so the only, my only point of reference, uh, literally, is I need to go through my Let's Play videos and just just fast forward them to try and find stuff. That's it. That's all I can do at the moment. Because no one knows where this shit is. So it's like a lot of it I got notes for, but it's the stuff I don't. So I'm, I'm just going to, you know, the stuff that I do know, I have notes. And the stuff that I don't know, I'm just going to... I have a note for where I think it was. And that's uh, that's the best we can do. That is the best. I mean, I can't, I can't do any more than that, you know? Can I grab that, Grace? First Mount Gelmir campsite. So, the, we haven't actually scaled Mount Gelmir at all. Let's play episodes are, uh, like every four hours or something. watching the wiki being created. Nah, these are these are my notes. Though I wouldn't be surprised if half of these notes go to the wiki, which is bullshit because I don't I don't get anything from that. People will probably watch these streams, take details, fill in the wiki and then Fextra Life just profits from it while I get nothing. But that's how it be. So what can you do?
I can go straight or I can curve around left. Let's curve around left first before we cross over. Ladders on that tower. I can scale that on the way back. Man, this area is is framey. Frame city, dude. That's the tomb. I don't want to do the tomb just yet. That's going to take the most time. I want to go away. Uh, we respect. Our character is now an arcane build. Well, since there's no thing, actually, I guess let's do the tower now. So that way I can see how viable arcane is. In PvE content. Because we know it destroys in PvP, but that doesn't help me kill hidden bosses. Gelmir Hero's Grave. The Beast Eye Quivers. Yo! I might get the- this might be the final part of the Beast Eye Quest. I've been looking all over for that. Liars ahead. Regret, turn back, visions of death. Do you ever stream on Twitch? No. I know, I used to stream on Twitch. Twitch is a, a trash can, and they're greedy. Seek ahead. Oh man, this place looks like it sucks. Oh, I already see it coming. slow me down too much. Can I even make it? I don't know. I gotta wait. might have to walk through the lava. 
I know there's a thing back there, but I'm curious what's down below. We'll save the lava for later. Yes, that is a jellyfish shield. Bleed seem pretty dirty so far, boys. Blood Katana is far up north. You get it at the very end of the game. Came from there. Let's check over here. There still might be something at the bottom of the magma. Shit. Dude, the Reduvia is actually kind of disgusting late game. Like, this is doing a lot of damage. This ain't even Sense Funhouse. There's, there are multiple of these. This is like my fourth or fifth tomb. How do I even get down, bro? Ooh. God, I hate these things. coming. Oh! Oh, man. Oh, you bitch! I fucking hate these things! 
Ah, uh, of course it would turn direction. Why wouldn't it turn direction? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm at the lower capital church trying to find the next point of progression. I kick the ladder. What do I do now? Lower capital church. Uh, you just, I mean, that's, that's an alternate ending thing. You don't have to do that right now. I need more healing. I have too much casting on right now. Time four should be good split. There goes my shield. Mm. Let's go. I'm just gonna run past. I know this is dumb, but this has already been lowered. Out, stop it, assholes. Oh, god damn, dude. It hits so hard. What is my stats now? 45 arcane. Okay, so my math was right. 45 was the breakpoint I wanted. Hang on a second. Uh, I was asking Paige about lunch. We found a German place that was super good. Ooh. Yes. Paige bringing me home some Jaeger schnitzel. Let's go, boys! Go, 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 go. Uh, what are you? Stop that. I don't know what you are. Away, Shadow Beast. Uh, Mantis Blade. What is that? Curved Sword. Far reaching slash. It doesn't stop. It just keeps going, man. I hate these damn graves. It goes far, too. What the hell? Oh, bro, this blows. This blows. Can I even make it? Can I even make it? The lava slows you down too much. I think it delays so you can try and run for it. Ugh. 
Come on. Come on, fatty. Come on, fatty. <laughs> I fucking made it. Uh, man, that looks far, bro. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I gotta wait for it to pass here. That's my best bet. <laughs> oh my god. Bro. Oh, that sucked so bad, dude. That sucked. That sucked so incredibly bad. Oh my god. I don't think we can even open this. this oh, we can. Thank god, dude. Great Shield saves the day. I have no health at all. No, <laughs> no health. Please tell me there's a steak of Marika here. I don't see one. I don't see a steak, which is bad news because I need one desperately. Uh, who are we trying to try out? Y'all did good. Y'all were dookie. I didn't get to try out you. These two are legendary. Maybe I count on Ancient Dragon Knight to just tank. Oh, no, there is one. Well, we're going to see what Ancient Dragon Knight can do. This is supposed to be a, a legendary summon, and I've leveled him up to plus nine. Oh, great. It's, it's this fucking thing. I hate this thing so much, dude. Enjoy bleed. Dragon Knight, I need your help. Where you at, buddy? Do not look at me! No! Ah, dragon Gun! Whew! <laughs> that worked out! Uh, was that a legendary though? Black... It's Bloodhound Knight Flow. He is not legendary. Which means he's not worth using. I don't know what the average end game level is. I stopped leveling at 150. Death root. Let's go. The crazy thing is we're not done. We aren't done. We got to go back in. I have 10 heal flasks and 4... You, you get 14 flasks plus 12 at the end. Who wants to donate to a poor boy's copy of Getting This Game? I can't stop watching other people play it. You know, there's this cool thing you can do called Getting a Job. Where... You go and you do work. And believe it or not... For doing the work, they pay you money. And then with that money, you can buy stuff. I know, isn't that crazy? And believe it or not, you can have multiple. I actually have two of these things called jobs. Two of them. And it allows me to have money to buy lots of stuff. 
It's a really cool concept, bro. You should try it. I know. It's it's an ama it's so crazy, right? Jobs give you money. It's amazing. I'm not going to make it to the next thing. Yep, bad time to jump back, skeletons. Whoa! Is this the walkthrough guy? No, I'm the talkthrough guy. I just serenade you with my creamy voice and get you through the game. like what we're about to do, but I don't think I have any other choice. So I'm almost positive there's more loot down there. Hang on, let me put on some like beefy ass fire protect. Watch, there's not even loot down here. I'm just doing this for no reason at all. Miyazaki does not create a path that you can go down if there's not loot. Time for jumping. Um. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, but I will. Toss a stone. I can definitely jump. I'll make- I'll make a build video eventually. What awaits us at the bottom? The ringed finger. Gross. Bludgeon made of an enormous finger sheathed in several heavy rings, thought to have been cut from an ancestor of a finger creeper. Some life yet remains. Cause the finger to swell, then flex to build up strength before giving enemies an almighty flick. That is such a gross looking weapon, dude. Flick! <laughs> what the fuck? Gross. I kind of want to use it, but it's unupgraded. Alright, let's do this drop down and see uh, where it goes. Oh no. That, okay, that's the door I opened, so this is just a shortcut to get you through the whole thing. How many uh, souls did I drop there? I'm trying to figure out if it's worth going back. Because I don't need souls for anything. I just use them to buy upgrade mats. I think I dropped like, what, 50,000? Does it sound about right? Or was it like really high? Eighty K. Uh, I'll just pass. I don't need it. Because I would just buy more upgrade mats with it, and I don't really need it. Everything is like plus nine that I would use.
Yeah, she can get Millennia's arm sword. No, there was there was a ledge I could have landed on. I just I jumped. I did the big jump instead of the two smaller jumps is all. No, you can get things to plus 10. Unique weapons go to plus 10, normal weapons go to plus 25. I've just run out of uh, unique upgrade mats. So, for me to get more upgrades, I'd have to find more mats. I used my very last one on my Dragon Communion Seal because it has a whopping 325 scaling on it. What other things the hug lady from the round table hold do? She has a long quest that... There's a theory it's tied to a secret ending, but no one knows for sure yet. Is there a way to get rid of the red dude? That is the dung eater and you need to do his quest. It's very long. The pulley bow. DD1111, Mighty Shot. Longbow uses like pulleys and strings. Enhances precision when shooting. Enables arrows to fly much further distances. If it levels up to good scaling, that might be a solid choice for bow builds. About how many can you fully upgrade? I don't know. Ten or so? I spent a lot of upgrades on like faith build items, and then I switched to Arcane. Just because I wanted to see if it was viable. And now I just don't have the upgrade mats to take my arcane stuff up. My, you're gonna, you're, you're, you're gonna make me kill you, aren't you? Not gonna lie though, bleed seems pretty OP. I don't know, the Faith Boy build was really good. Arcane has also been good, but Arcane seems uh, one of these guys. Arcane, the thing with Arcane is Arcane seems really good, but this is this would be an end game build. Like I don't even know if you could and The thing is so early on you can get Redubia. This is super, super late game. Um I don't need that at all. Uh, what do I want to put on instead? My FP reductor. Um yeah, so this thing is super late game. Or uh, this one, the Rivers of Blood, that's like one of the last areas of the game. Swarm of Flies is super late. Blood Boon is super late. So I don't know if there's like earlier spells you can get, but everything I'm using is like end of the game basically. Like, I'm sure there's some lower level stuff that you could find, but... Can you do a boss weapon showcase? No, I'm not here for that right now. I'm here to hunt down legendary items. Another ladder up. The purpose of this whole stream is for me to hunt down legendaries to try and get my platinum. No PvP, we're not weapon showcasing, we're not spell showcasing. You can find all that stuff in other streams. Dragon Scale Blade is also late game and tied behind a quest. You 
wary of right. That's not a bird. Where did you get Golden Vow? I don't remember. I'll be honest with y'all, I don't remember like half the stuff. You're just gonna have to like wait for the Let's Play episodes to, to see where that shit's at. Bleed, bleed. Because what she gotta remember is I put like 80 hours into this game in a week. So it's basically all just a fucking blur. It's it's all a blur and I don't remember half of the things that I did. Like I remember things, but I don't remember where like specific, oh yeah, that one spell that you're asking about? Yeah, sure, I know where that's at. Like it's, it's all just a, if it wasn't something that I was like, this is amazing, I need this. Time for snake, be wary of right. Strength early weapon. Um, I would suggest either uh, just great sword or great axe are fine. This seems OP, but it's hard to know if it's OP because it's OP or if it's OP because this is Mount Gelmir and I'm way past these enemies in level. That one goes super high, so let's do the other ladder first. Episodes are every few hours. There's five per day. Hey, someone in the fighting cowboy group defeated the shard bear. That's what I like to see. Did you change the way you started the game since you reached late game and know how it works? Uh, yes, obviously. I mean, knowing everything is of course gonna influence how you're gonna play through. Oh, what the hell? Get out of here. Stop that. Sekiro was easy. You know, to wake up the giant jar? He, he's not asleep, you just need to talk to him. You need to talk to him, and then there'll be summon signs on the ground behind you. And you need to beat all those summons in PvP. Oh, what the fuck are you? You need to kill all three summons without dying, and then you get a Havel's Ring 2.0. Oh. Ah, welcome, dear customer. Yes, right this way. Right this way. Uh, Merchant Man, I'll talk to him in a bit. Yeah, he gives you three dots, because you need to prove yourself. Now go do the PvP that's right behind you, like I just said. Has nothing to do with the smaller jars. You need to do the PvP that's right behind you, like I just said. So this brings me up kind of to the peak. I promise you they're there.
Yeah, it looks like it might be lethal. Let's go around. Walkthrough is going to be a quality build, yes. Are you so annoyed with viewers? I'm not annoyed with viewers. I'm annoyed with saying the same answer three times to a question. He said, how to wake up the pot? I said, you need to do the signs that do PvP. And he said, but the pot won't wake up. Like... I gave the answer, and he ignored the answer. That doesn't annoy you? Stone sword, always buy. Volcano pot, sure. Confessor gear, cool. Like, I'm fine with answering questions, but if I give you an answer, that's, that's my answer. You know? Asking the same question again doesn't change the answer. Defeated the NPC summons. You need to beat all three of the NPC summons without dying. If you die, you failed the quest and you have to start over. After you've killed all three of the NPC summons without a single death, then you get access to some stuff. In particular, you get access to... Hang on. Oh, wait. Right. Kill all three in a row without dying, and then you're gonna get a, a, a talisman. Nice shield, bro. The mosquito swarm! I found the grape lady a third time, but then she moved again, so now she's somewhere else, and I don't know where. Grape Lady will forever be my boon. She constantly moves. The Assault on Volcano Manor. The Squalid, the Sick, the Blasphemous. A wretched, unending war with no girl of glory. So that takes me over to the areas that I've been trying to reach. And there's a Grace, too. Best greatsword? I mean, I like just the regular Guts greatsword so far, but I haven't played Strength, so it's hard to tell you what's best. We're gonna hit this Grace and then head back down. What bosses have you not fought? None. I've killed all the bosses at this point. Hang on a second. Oh, sweet. So it gets me up there, and then that just brings me down here behind all these dudes. Get out of here with your whack-ass eye of frenzies. I'm the frenzy man. Demigods, frenzy knights. Starting class is irrelevant. Once you start playing, you'll level up. And then you become something you're not to begin with anyway. Starting class is literally just about like, what weapon do you start with? That's it. Everything in the game is viable. Just play what you want. Pick a starting class based on your weapon. If you like katanas, start with the samurai. If you're fine with the broadsword and you want basic incantations, start with confessor. If you want to be a strength boy that beats people, start as the champion with the axe. 
Your starting class ultimately has zero bearing on what your endgame class looks like. Gonna be a volcano boss, I bet. Technically, this isn't a dagger build. This is a bleed build. I have a bleed dagger and a bleed katana. Both of them are good. I just usually save the katana for bosses because this thing's cheaper to use. Okay. That's usually overkill, which is why I have the dagger out right now. I don't, I don't need that much damage for these dudes. This is kind of like the Chicago. Where do I find Placidus Axe? That is a very complicated question. And it involves a zone that you aren't going to until the very end of the game. Let's see what Tish can do. Yes, Black Flame. Ooh, man. He does some damage. Ooh, shit, look at him go! Look at that Black Flame. Go get him, Tish. Is there any loot I can get here? Jar cannon. Jar cannon. Ballista. Explosives to fire great bolts, deals great damage but slow to reload. Experimental firearm brought to the assault on Volcano Manor where it was discovered that no one knew how to use it. <laughs> uh, that's funny. We have this arm, it'll fire bolts of great death at the enemy. Okay, how do we... How do we fire that? No one quite knows. We developed it, but we hadn't tested it. Perfectly balanced. Y'all, listen. Look, look, this is Volcano Manor, alright? I'm gonna break it down for you. We start the game out in Limgrave. I did all of Limgrave. I did all of Liarnia. I did all of Kaelid. I did all of Altus Plateau, which Volcano Manor is part of Altus Plateau. Then after that, I did all of the mountaintop of the giants, including the hidden region and including the Halic tree. I got teleported on over to Faram Zula, did all of that. I did all the capital city. I did the final bosses. And now I'm coming here, basically leveled the fuck out. And you think these enemies aren't gonna die? It's like I'm on level 10 and I went back to like level six. I'm just, uh, this is, I'm gonna beat everything in this cave to death. It's not gonna be, I'm getting a little framey. It's not, nothing in here is gonna give me a challenge. And that's not because content easy or, oh my God, cowboy not balanced. It's because I'm a super high level character and I'm coming back to a lower level place. Yeah, plus this is a dungeon boss. Dungeon bosses aren't hard to begin with. 
they're there to give you a brief challenge and, and hand you some loot. That's it. Ninth Mount Gelmir campsite. I like how we start at the first and then immediately we're at the ninth. This is a Faith Blood build. So we can take that up or we can jump up. What about if we go around? Or watch a whole video of Cowboy giving sarcastic answers to dumb questions. You don't need to, just come to any of the streams. Hello? What are you? Oh, God. Alright, let's, uh, who haven't we not tried? Black Flame Monk Amon. Show me what you can do. Ow, stop that. Can I even bleed this thing? Because it looks like it's just made of stone. If I can bleed it, it has exceptionally high bleed resist. Can I rot it? I can rot it. Nope, nope, don't want to be near that. How about you attack Mr. Black Flame Among? starting to piss me off. Oh, he's dead. Black Flame dude, not really getting the job done, to be honest. Uh, Night Maiden and Swordstress Puppets seem pretty cool. Uh, Dragon Knight seems cool. I never leveled up Archer Boy. I'll level him up, though. And then Tish did a good job. Somber 6, 6. Falling Star Beast Jaw. What's the Falling Star Beast Jaw do? Part of a Falling Star's Beast's jaw, hard and shining black, fashioned into a weapon. Imbue the jaw with gravitational lightning, sending a bolt crashing down a short distance, can be fired rapidly. I don't have the int to even use it, but it seems like it would be a fun build for my int guy. You get locked out of pot quest. I can't find the summon signs anymore. The summon signs are there. I promise you they're there. So I guess you could come this way and use that to reach the volcano manor. Oh, frame city. God damn. Trying to see something. So if. People didn't get there. What they could do instead is they could run through this pathway. No, they'd have to get over to the Bridge of Iniquity. And this is a ravine. I don't think they can get up to the Bridge of Iniquity from down there. Let me see. Any idea how you're going to approach the walkthrough? All bosses or main story? Focusing on Platinum. So, if for some reason it's bugged, they'd have to... Oh, man. 
And then they'd have to go by the tree. Oh, hang on. From Erd Tree Gazing Hill, they'd have to run along this road. Past the broken, past the Erd Tree, up, cut. Circle this way. It's a long way. It's a long ass way to send people. But, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, I've had a couple of people mentioning that for some reason she's not appearing, and I don't know why. Because, like, half the people in the video are like, awesome, dude, she was there, thank you. And other people are like, yeah, she wasn't there. I'm curious, did you kill the guy, or did you hand him runes to get the, the necklace? Because considering the Volcano Manor is, like, the PvP covenant, unofficially, maybe you have to kill somebody for her to see your worth. Is there any way to keep track of what cave we clear besides mark and write it down? Uh, I would just clear caves as you find them. What I did is when I found something, I would clear it. And if I couldn't, like let's say I got to audience pathway and I couldn't beat the thing, I would leave a marker. I would leave a little boss icon. And that way when I'd be like, oh, hang on. Yeah, there was, there was something over here I got to do still. That's the best, best you can do. Frame city. Uh, so we've cleared that now. That was one of the few areas I hadn't checked. Ow. Ow, ow. God damn it, archers. Happened to the hidden snow falling puzzle? We never solved it. It's still unsolved. I need to let me let me make a uh Hang on, I'm gonna grab a screenshot and make a uh I'm gonna make a map real fast and put it on the discord for people that are struggling um, Well, should I put it on discord or should I link it on Twitter? Maybe Twitter makes more sense some arrows we make red arrows so they're gonna go to this road and then they're gonna go up and then across And they're gonna go over to here. Then cross that bridge. And then take that down. Mm-hmm. 
I'm gonna go there. Um, bum, 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 bum. Hey, make it green. Here to see. I guess I could just post it on Twitter. second. I'm going to pin this on the invasion video. Um, let me see. Where's the invasion video at? Wait, anybody struggling won't be stuck forever. That's good. Okay. Oh, let me see. What was this dude bitching about the whole time? I want to see what happened. These bosses are a joke. Don't be a simp. I don't think I did any of this. I find Tummins too OP. I'm saying old Dark Souls game, you could level as much as you wanted, but the bosses are hard. I mean, the bosses are still hard. You just don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> I'm gonna be honest, dude. You're like not even, you're not even 25% through this game yet. If you think all the bosses are still easy, you are in like baby town frolic still. If you want to talk about hard bosses, get up here to the secret region. Get up here to the hidden dragon. Get to the underground regions with the natural born bloodborne bosses and the giant lich dragons that cast instant death. Like all the people that are playing this game that are like, oh, boss is too easy. Literally none of you have any fucking clue what you're talking about. You're like a child in preschool still, and I've graduated from college. That is the difference in how far you have progressed in this game compared to me. And I'm not saying this as an insult, I'm saying it because it's the truth. If you think the bosses in this game are too easy, you're fighting the tutorial bosses still. You literally have no fucking clue what this game has in store for you. 
I have killed all the bosses. I have 101 hours in this game. And there's still shit that I am discovering that I haven't found. A hundred, over a hundred fucking hours already. And I do want to talk about how, oh, bosses are too easy. Like, no, you're, you're fighting tutorial. You're, you managed to, to, to beat the training wheel bosses. And the thing is, after the training wheels, we're going to take the third wheel off your bike. And then after that, you get up to the unicycle bosses. And then eventually there's a part where you just have to fucking go on the bike, but there's no wheels. You have to somehow make the bike levitate. You're still on three wheel mode. There's a small island right after you exit the tutorial area. Can you get there somehow? Are you talking about... Talking about this? Or are you talking about this? Because this, you take the underground coastal cave to get over to it. This is where the tutorial boss happens and kills you. And for that, you need to take a tower of Belfry to get it. I can't get past Margit. How are the bosses easy? I mean, I'll come help you murder Margit. If you're on PC. Margit's my bitch. <sighs> I didn't really explore this swamp that well. Maybe there's something there? No, that's not... That's, that's not obscure at all. I mean, we could go there, but... I mean, you can have an opinion on what you've seen, and I'm telling you that your opinion is uninformed. Right now, your, your opinion at the current moment is the equivalent of somebody walking into a bakery and then being like, Man, this is whack. The only thing this town sells to eat is bread. Like, no, you're, you're at a bakery. There's other restaurants here. And you're like, no, I've seen the whole town. It's only bread. Like, like you, you have an uninformed opinion is the point I'm making here. I mean, sure, you might think the town only sells bread if you've only ever seen the bakery. But that's the thing. You've only seen the bakery. The flail. Q. EC. Blah, blah, build up. That sounds cool. Also, demand higher dexterity spinning chain. I want to use it. You need to see the whole town before you can talk about the other food choices. Mm. Boom, 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 boom. I bet that would build up bleed super fast. I'm totally going to use that for a little bit of my dex playthrough. Right, let's go check this swampy thing. What would be the hardest boss? Millennia. Millennia. Most players will just never beat Millennia, to be honest. I happened to beat Millennia because my build was disgustingly strong. And I had a mimic of myself that was copying my disgustingly strong build. And we managed to spam her into the ground with abilities. Millennia is literally like what would happen if Artorius had a baby with Lady Maria and then the boss was given Bloodborne Rally so that when you fuck up and the boss attacks you, it gets its health back. Most players just won't beat that. They're just going to get spanked over and over and over and over again. To mimic yourself, you have to go to the, the hidden city of Nakron, which you can't get until after you have beaten Radon. I don't know, yesterday, the worm you fought, there's another one like it in the dungeon. Yeah, there's like three or four of them in the game. 
I got I got a lava spell from one in the one of the final regions. Trying to think where else to go, but I haven't been. Oh fuck, what, there's a death bird around here? What? Where? Oh shit. Where did you come from? Craft mac and cheese. Rip bird. Poor bird never stood a chance. It didn't even know I was there. Cool weapon though. Let's take a look at it. Axe, wild strikes, DD, 1610. Huh. Kinda cool. Obscene damage. Once again, this is... This is like tutorial bosses. Stop it. Or a better way to think of it is this region I'm in, you get the materials... You get the plus two smithing stones. So you can get your weapon up to plus six in this region. I am at regions where my weapon is plus 25 or beyond. They are not the same. Maybe I should just go back and get my shit from that cave. Is it still in there? There is fall damage. Crucible armor is in deep route depths. I'm just gonna go grab my souls so the icon comes off the map. I think I can run too. Nope, I can't. archery combat uh, I haven't really done much but it seems like it would be viable based on early tests what's the difference between strength and dexterity in depth I was going with dex faith but can't use so many weapons uh, strength is for big weapons that go unga bunga and dex is for weapons that are Weeaboo Jones katana stuff. If you want to be a katana man, you use dex. If you like unga bunga weapon hit hard, you use strength. That's the difference. I'll have to go back at this stream and see if there was anything I got down here of value, because if not, that's a way fucking better way to get through this. I don't remember anything that was really good. And that's an infinitely easier route to the boss. I'm 
decks also increases your casting speed. So it's better if you're trying to fast cast, whereas strength doesn't. But because of that, strength has good synergy with things like buff abilities, since you put up the ball, put them all up before the fight. Alright, we're gonna go. I, I still, even after 100 hours, I still get lost at what fucking hallways I take in this place. New game plus? Nah. There's still shit I haven't, like, found. I don't want to go to New Game Plus yet. Please go watch the video about hidden bosses if you want to find Millennia. To be honest, none of you can kill her right now anyway. You need to be, like, over level 100 to even stand a chance. I see. Uh, it's gonna be expansive. I should upgrade him to see if he's good or not, because this guy was really good. And you seem like a decent tank. Alright, let's see. Where should we go? I know- ugh, fuck. I gotta find spells. There are spells, legendary spells, that I am missing. I need to look for areas on the map that are missing marks. Areas where it looks like there's stuff I could do. They're just empty. Do have anything here, but that's not really a huge gap. Looking for gaps. Gaps in the map. We cleared out Volcano Manor. This is kind of a big gap, but I think it's just a plains there. That's the Erd Tree, the towers. I didn't see anything on that path, and I think that's just a path. You just run through it. About down in Kaled. This is a boss arena, so there's nothing out here, with the exception of that guy. I don't remember there being anything else here. I could try and revisit it now that I'm post game. How do you know when something is legendary? It, it literally will say it. Like, here's a good example. A legendary talisman. Nothing, nothing. This legendary talisman. So, when you find it, the description will tell you, you know, one of the legendary armaments, a legendary talisman, a legendary spell. I don't know what else I'd be missing, though. Is a reflection of strength? There are no reflections in this game. Well, we were going to do walkthrough prep today, but instead I decided to legendary hunt. And we've finished an area, but we're still missing legendaries, so... I mean, the thing is, I, part of me doesn't want to start the walkthrough until I've found all the legendaries, but it's like... I don't know, man. I've, I've been all over this map, and there's stuff I'm still missing. You know, I was going to let you live, but I see that instead you've chosen death.
Grail's War still viable? It's okay. There's better stuff. You got juked. And now I will kill you. I've already got the equipped talisman. I'm just seeing if this place has opened up at all. Like if there's actually an arena I can go into now that I'm done with the game. No, this dialogue doesn't change and there's not any new signs either. This is the quest for the better one. Oh, fuck, where do I go, dude? Ugh, looking at my list. I'm gonna have five, the crazy thing is I have five legendary armaments, I have four legendary ashen remains, I have six legendary talismans, and I still don't have the fucking achievement. And I'm starting to wonder if maybe, and I really don't want to think this, but maybe I need to go to New Game Plus for things. Uh, where haven't I gone? We can go up here. I got more death. Let's see if what the final beast spell is. Maybe it's cool. The difference is this comes after the let's play. This is this is post game. I won't forget. I must. Bronx beast claw. That sounds spicy. Increase melee attack speed? Yeah, use a faster weapon. Garonk's Beast Claw. Ren surroundings with shockwaves. Maybe I have on that and uh, maybe you just to mix it up. Let's see. I think this just does AOE. Ooh, that's big. Curious on the damage. Are there any unique dual katanas? No. Which class of weapons would you say is the best, most fun? Uh, I don't know, whatever you're, whatever you're enjoying playing with. I've played with a bunch of different weapons. Ow, god, this dick. Go, Rocks, Beast Claw, go! Oh, shit! And a multi hit? Setting for about 700. That's not even hitting him. What the fuck, bro? Ass. That seems nice. Thousand damage, quick AoE. Mm. 
I'm gonna try doing a quick cast. I did elite damage. That might be worth keeping on. It seems like it's a good, like, instant, you know, like a shit surrounding you type move. Oh, hoodie, my hoodie, it's cold. Um, let's see. What else would I want? Frostbite breath, maybe? No, let's go back to magma. Let's go magma. That. And then placid sacks. Yeah, there we go. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab a hoodie. so long since I've gotten cold I forgot I had my discord hoodie down here make things easy what do you think of sorceries uh, I haven't used them so don't have any thoughts on them uh, da, 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 da. magma liquid hot magma yeah I don't know y'all I'm I'm fucking running out of ideas on uh, on legendary armaments and shit list of legendary armaments Elden Ring. Uh, da 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 da. <laughs> I don't think the wiki has anything. Let me see. <laughs> the wiki has some stuff. Used to summon the spirit of Luet the Headless. Dropped by the Cemetery Shade at the Tombsward Catacombs. That's a legendary summon. Tombsward Catacombs. Tombsward Catacombs? I don't think I've been there. It's above the tree? It's like here. Hmm. Tombsward Catacombs. Sounds like your first legendary summon that you can get early. Um, let's go. We're gonna, I'm gonna... I'm checking my list against the stuff on the wiki to see if the wiki has anything, and this is one thing I haven't found. The wiki has that. Comet Azure. I don't think I ever found that. Uh... Black Knife Tish, McTeer, Radigan Icon. Uh, I haven't found the Radigan Icon. That would be really good. Founding Reign of Stars. Hang on, let me pull up. Let me find this, this catacomb first, and then I'll pull up this list of things that are listed. If it's a catacomb, it probably is low. That's, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you, game. Uh, da, 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 da. Weeping Peninsula, moving directly south from the Church of Pilgrimage towards the Minor Erd Tree. Mm, gym talk. I need to go. I'm going to start going back to the gym on Monday. I basically took a week and a half off, and I am rough at the moment. This looks like kind of looks catacomby. Is it here? It is. Oh shit, that is fucking tucked in there. It 
This place is real. This is, we're gonna. This place is gonna get blown the fuck out. Uh, let me pull up the other shit. So Comet Azure, I need. Radigan Icon, Bounding Rain, Devourer Scepter, I have. Grail's Roar. That's not. Wait, is Grail's Roar legendary? No, Grail's Roar is is a uh, superior. It's not legendary. Uh, Shortle, Grafted Blade, Sword of Night and Flame. I haven't found that. One of the legendary armaments. So, Sword of Night and Flame, Radigan's Icon, and then Founding Rain, Eldest Primeval. Legendary status. It's also legendary status. Alright, well, let's go through this place first. Maybe we'll... Uh, maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll, we'll finish our list. And the exact number of bosses? No fucking clue. Probably like 50 to 60. There's a lot of fucking bosses. Cookbook, nine. Damn, that's so cheap for the AoE it does. Cookbook nine, and what did I get out of that? Rancor pot, yummy. Do you still need Radicon icon? I do, but I, I should be able to find it pretty easily. I'm gonna run through, I'm gonna dunk on this catacomb first. And then I'll head over and get it. This is a low level place, so I should have cleared this out ages ago. This is very hefty on the skeletons. Buff boy again? I can't remember his name. I have no fucking clue who you're talking about. Let's see if I can instant kill the boss. Loodle the Headless, 
and I did not get the achievement. Which means there's another one out there. Let me let me confirm, Steam. Nope, the last achievement I have is Dragon Lord. Not a one-shot restart. <laughs> it's pretty fucking close. Alright, so that's out the way. Um, let me look at these. Area Manor. Royal Lucaria Academy. Nearest site debate hall. Debate parlor is probably what they're talking about. Find inside a treasure chest on the second floor of the debate hall site of Grace. From the gate entrance leading to the courtyard, make a hard right and jump over the fence. Climb up the ladder, head through the broken glass window. Gate entrance leading to the courtyard, make a hard right and jump over the fence. Oh wow, sneaky, sneaky. Shit is so well hidden, bro. So, so fucking well hidden. But that shortens spell cast time, which sounds like it's exactly what your boy needs. This is the last one I need. So, I now have the location of all legendary talismans, Radigan icon, and no achievement pop. Big rip. Stop it. Uh, I'd have to give up spell slots. I rarely charge spells anymore. Let's go for fast cast instead. Alright, well that's obtained. Um, let me make a note. Um, boom, boom. Seven. Radigan Icon. Um, Rhea Lucaria Academy. Okay, and then let me make a thing about the ashes I got. What was his name? Headless man, Lutal. Lutal the Headless. Uh, Lutal the Headless is in uh, Atacom south of uh, Fourth Church. Okay, that's now five legendary ashen remains. I have seven talismans. Let's see this. Area Manor, locked room behind the guardians in the east. Locked room behind the guardians in the east, accessible from walkways above to the chapel building in the west. Huh. Let me just go through this area. It's not very long. Curious to see what my casting speed is now. Oh yeah, I remember this place. This place was filled with fucking handsies, so I just sprinted through here. I wanted nothing to do with it. I was like, no, this place can suck my balls. Not spending any time here. I had a bad time in this place. That does come out quick as hell. I like it. Yes, there's a limited amount of somber smithing stones.
Well, your max tier ones, at least. I can't speak to the other tiers. Burn, bitch. Most disliked enemy, by far. Stop running. How did I level up so fast? Uh, easy, bro. Just play the game for a hundred hours. It's somewhere around here, but I don't know where. Right side. Let me take the pathway up. Grazing grounds. My status is irrelevant to you. This is an in-game build. You need very specific items to even do what I'm doing. Seeing my level stats isn't going to help you make this build at all. You need all of the items, all of the stats. Like, just play the game, man. Just play the game. Play the game. Test out shit that you found. I will have build videos soon. Getting a screenshot of stats means nothing. Because my stats are influenced by gear and rune arc and all kinds of other shit. So showing you my stats doesn't help you make this. I think it's this way. Everyone's like, what are, what are the stats? What are the stats? Like, the stats don't help you. Listen, even... Look, look, even if you know my stats. Even if you know my stats. A couple things here, right? My arcane isn't actually 45. My arcane is being boosted to 45 because of this. You need to know where to get the silver tier mask. This is an endgame item. This is hidden away in a dungeon somewhere. These are endgame items. This is legendary. This is legendary. This is a starter item. This thing, I don't even remember where I found it, but it's rare. This is from a hidden boss. That is from a quest that takes the entire game to complete. This is from a boss in the final region of the game. This is from a hidden boss. Like, even, you know... There's so much shit to this build that people... Like, nobody is experiencing this stuff yet. So, like, yeah, I get it. You want to make this build, but it doesn't matter. You can't... Even if you know my stats, you don't have any of this shit. It's gonna be fucking ages before you get here. So just play the game. Play the game. Find shit that you like that looks cool, use it. And eventually you'll get endgame. And by that point you'll have a build of your own. But knowing the build that someone that's 80 hours ahead of you is using isn't going to help you at all. Exactly, it's like the Neo 2 builds. It's like this, this is the equivalent of... This is like being at the start of Neo 2 and being like, how do I make this super endgame build? Like, you don't. You don't make this super endgame build. Literally a hundred hours spent to get this build where it's at. Y'all can't do this stuff right now. That's why the stream says, like, major spoilers. Like, honestly, if you're at the start of the game, like, I appreciate the viewership, but if you're at the beginning of the game, you shouldn't even be watching the stream, man. You're spoiling the whole surprise. All the crazy shit, like... It's like watching the end of the anime, but without watching all the episodes leading up to it. Where is this fucking thing? In a locked room behind the gardens in the east. 
The room is accessible from the walkways above. Locked room in the gardens to the east. I found helmets that boost stats. Locked room to the east. How far east? Like, no, that's behind the manor. Let me just, do I just travel to the moon gazing grounds or do I gotta take this thing up? Maybe I do have to take this up. Do you know there's a way to get to the mountain type zone before fighting the Lenendale boss? No. You have, as far as I know, you have to fight the Lenendale boss to get the seal to go to the mountaintop zone. What makes me like the dagger? I'm a bleed build. And this is a bleed dagger. So, therefore, it does good things for me. I have 45 arcane. My dagger bleeds in two swings. That is why I like the dagger. I can do this with it. room behind the gardens in the east. There are weapons that do more crit damage. You can just check a weapon stats. It'll say critical. See? Critical. 110. So this does more. these guys. Hang on. Let me... Locked room behind the gardens in the east. You can go into the walkways through... Room is accessible from the walkways above. You can get onto the walkways through the chapel building in the west. Through the chapel building? There's no fucking chapel building here. God damn it, dude. Go away. This is why I hate wiki sites. This doesn't, it's not telling me fucking anything. This is the boss room. I've made it to the boss room already. Walkways above, get onto the walkways through the chapel building in the west. Like there's literally no chapel here. Oh my God, let me just go to the fucking start of this place. Maybe this is just a vague chapel. Wait a second.
We need to find a chapel building. Fucking handsies. Maybe they think this is the chapel building. It's kind of church-like. Oh, these have to be the walkways they're talking about. Locked behind the gardens in the east. Get there from the walkways above. I'm just gonna keep going east and I'll look for a drop down. Maybe it's that area? That looks sketchy. Quest line's easier to follow? No, sadly. Urumi. It's like a whip of some sort. You wanna play sniper games? Let's play sniper games. Asshole. See, the thing is, this is, I mean, I guess this is east, but could they be talking about here? <sighs> Locked room behind the gardens in the east. It's probably behind you. Enjoy some liquid hot magma. Yeah, that spelled not as good as I thought. Somber stone three. Uh, fuck. I don't see. Are we at Eastern Gardens? No, we're like West right now. This doesn't make any sense.
Lightning flame stands. Let's see. A room behind locked room behind the gardens in the east. Let me go to the eastern gardens, maybe. Now let me just run this way and do a drop down. We're trying to get the Sword of Night and Flame, if anybody knows exactly where to drop down for that. All this guide said is it's in the east, in the gardens, but not exactly the best guide. Yeah, I don't know what they're saying. It sounds like they're saying in the guardians. The notes say, in a locked room behind the gardens in the east. The room is accessible from the walkways above. You can get onto the walkways through the chapel building. Well, we're on the walkways, but I am not seeing a locked room or gardens or anything. And I would think this is the, the gardens to the east, but that's just upper level. Do we go, do we drop down from up here? Cause this looks like a death fall. I mean, whatever. It's not like I got anything to lose. If I can find the locked room, I can probably... Is this it? Is this the locked room? Take the first left. You won't be able to link videos in chat. I think I know where it is though. I think it's that path. That's the first left. I missed. Rip. Frames in general in this game are bad. It's not very well optimized. I love it still. And there's tons of stuff to do and tons of stuff to find, but... Frames are bad. Frames are bad. Yeah, there's stutters bad, fog effects cause like really bad issues. Alright, now that we're down here. Still don't have the achievement. Mm. Int strength faith. Ugh. Well, normal attack to cast Night Comet or Strong Sweep for a burst of flames. It's kind of cool. There's very, very few builds that could actually use that effectively, though. Alright, so let me see. I'm gonna write notes for how to actually find this instead of garbage on the wiki. Oh, we go Mary Manor lower level. Area Manor. 
lower level. Take left, drop down, take ladder. Okay. Uh, Founding Rain is a sorcery. Eldest sorcery of legendary status. This is listed on the wiki with no fucking, there's no details where it's found. Uh, let's see, Founding Rain of Stars. Well, it's listed on the wiki, but there's no details about where you get it. That's nice. Uh, legendary sorcery devised by Azur. Hermit village of Mount Gelmir, acquired from primeval sorcerer Azur, sitting near the cliffs on the northeast. Hermit village in Mount Gelmir. Windmill village. Hermit Village in Mount Gelmir. I got the Abductor Virgin. Apparently there's a village right here I can get to. And some other shit. I've never even been there. How would I reach it? Would you go from Perfumer's Ruins? There's a lots of stuff. Maybe you gotta ride around from... Let's try Seathwater Terminus and try riding around the area. Just trying to get all legendary weapons. I'm trying to get all legendary everything. There's legendary weapons, legendary spells, legendary talismans, legendary summons. Right now we are looking for all of that stuff. Uh, to try and get those achievements. Because I would prefer to have the locations of all of the legendary shit known before I start working on the walkthrough. This is Fort Laid. I don't need to go to Fort Laid. Probably gotta run through magma. Oh, a magma worm. Teesh, kill it. I cannot be bothered with such puny monsters. Let me show you the fire of a real worm. From Theodorix, the greater of worms. Draconic power. Neato. It's probably Magma Breath, but like a shittier version of it.
So you just ride out here from the fort. Yeah, I missed all of this. Eh. You have a co-op tutorial? There's no tutorial. You just pop your sign. That's it. where I just saw those dudes attacking. Yeah, it just circles around. Giant nearby? There's gotta be. Rolling magma. You got the katana in the second to last region of the game. You can't go there early. You have to play through the whole game to get to it. Anything you're seeing me use with the exception of, like, the two frenzy spells I have are super late game. This is from a hidden boss. This is from the hidden boss's area. This is from completing the beast quest. This is from a boss in one of the secret areas of the game. This is from a boss in the third region. This is from a hidden boss at the end of the game. Like... Even at the end of the game, you're still fucking annoying. Holy shit. The squares under the stamina bar are various buffs that I have on. I have a casting speed buff, 
health buff, stamina buff, carry weight buff, extra spell slot buff. I have lots of buffs. All of your buffs from various pieces of gear are shown. Even at the very end of the game, I fucking hate fate. Or I hate casters. Stone. That's fucking nice. I think that's like two enemies I've defeated to get those now. Ugh. Laggy time. Brayden, welcome. To the show. Oh, look, it brings it to the catacombs. Huh. I could have just gone around the whole time to get to the Gelmir Hero's grave. That's funny. second. The secret medallion is the Halleck tree area, not the giant area. The rivers of blood are by the church. First church of America. On. So I have this like mat that's on the floor. You know, it's like a mat you put over carpet so you don't fuck up your carpet. And uh, as time goes on, it keeps fucking up and tearing. It gets cracks on it, so the only thing I can do is just duct tape the fucking cracks. And I'm just going to get hardwood floors put in this room soon enough, but until that point... Uh, you know, this is my next best bet. Acquired from Primeval Sorcerer. He was not even here, dude. Wait, unless it's that him? Some dude sitting by himself? Yeah, it is. Fuck, this guy's weird. Oh. They just gave it to me. Okay, well, I'll make a note. <laughs> um. Common Azure. Um. Alright, that's two legendary spells. How do I fix the carry weight issue? You level your stamina. 
Alright, well that was something we hadn't done before. Um... I'm looking at the map that they have to see if there's... What is this? Ash of War... Rivers of Blood are over here. Or... Over here. It's at one of them, I don't know which. It's at one of those churches. Go to the churches. Um... Is the stream lagging? I think the stream's lagging. I'm getting a notification that the stream's lagging. What's going on, stream? Why are you... Why is encoding overloading all of a sudden? This doesn't make sense. Looks like it fixed itself. That's good. Um... So in terms of legendary items... That's everything they have on the wiki. Stormhawk Dean Ashes. Twin Sage Godric, Ancient Dragon, Stormhawk Dina, Banished Knight, Latina, Perfumer, Omen Killer, Loodle, Prey Perfumer. Maybe this? Stormhawk Dean. Used to summon the spirit of Dean the Stormhawk. It's not a legendary. I could go get it though. Uh, Albanuric, ancestral follower, archers, soldier, soldier, banished knight, demi human, fang dem, finger maiden, giant rack, glenstone, godric, great sword, soldier, jar, right puppet, little the headless, map pumpkin, soldiers, mimic, knight maiden. Noble Sorcerer, Nomad, Northern Mercenaries, Omen Killer, Page, Ray Lucario, Skeletal Bandit, Militia, Jellyfish, Twin Sage, damn it. Chapel of Anticipation. Golden Beast Crest Shield. Tarnished Wizened Finger. Stormhawk King. Oh, that's the... hang on. Head to the roof of the southern wing of the chapel. Let me go pick these up. There's some stuff that I can get. Stop having that on as my default. Yeah, we don't talk about leaks here.
I don't even know where to get the imps. I started the game with the imps, so I don't even know where they're at in the world. Yes, there's... Oh, no, the memory leak was fixed. I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Mm, yeah. So the memory leak's been fixed. The, uh... FPS stuttering issue has not. But in general, the word leak is banned. Because people will come in and be like, Yo, did you see the... Leaks about blah blah blah, and I'm like, I don't want to fucking know, man. I don't want to know about the, the Elden Ring leaks or the Monster Hunter leaks or just let people discover games on their own so we don't talk about game leaks. So the bot just times out mention of the word leak, even though he was trying to talk about memory leaks. people would come in and try to spoil game details. <sighs> I don't remember there being anything else here, but apparently there's other stuff. Is this, I guess this was closed originally. The Stormhawk King. Why is it flagged as a key item? Ashes of a hawk which heeds no summon. Ashes of a hawk <coughs> revered as all others a sovereign back in the days. And storm winds winds rage like no other. Proud however refuses. So it's got to be like a side quest item. This is where you start the game at. Stormhawk Dina. Warhawk OP. So you're considered named. Its cries embolden its fellows in battle while the temptuous winds shred its foes. Sounds good. Still not what we were looking for. Oh, fuck. There's still stuff, man. I don't know. We're st Ah! It sucks that I don't know what I'm missing. We have six legendary weapons. We have five legendary ashen remains, only two legendary spells, and seven legendary talismans, and we still don't have a single fucking legendary achievement. So there's still shit that we have not found that is it, seemingly fucking nowhere. It bothers me to no end. And nobody <clears throat> even searching for like, you know... Well, part of the problem is you try searching, like, legendary weapons online, and then you just get these garbage websites that are like, List of legendary weapons in Elden Ring. The list of legendary weapons in Elden Ring is still being discovered. Come check back later for the full list. Like, uh, you fucking leeches. Why even make your website? Just don't. Don't even fucking make it. When you know where the legendary shit is, then start putting the list together. But nothing pisses me off more than fucking bait and switch websites like that. The interactive map doesn't have this stuff, y'all. 
The stuff I am talking about does not exist on the wiki right now. I am way, way past the stuff that is on the wiki. That probably leads down there. The wiki doesn't have it. The PXY guy doesn't have it. The Gosu noob guy doesn't have it. None of this stuff, no one knows where it's at. That's what's making this so challenging. Oh god, this area is fucking laggy, bro. Kind of a long open plane. Maybe there's a world boss or something that shows up. This area is lagging out, bro. My horse is my horse has disappeared. This is a bleed build. <clears throat> we were faith and we switched over to bleed. Lance Talisman, I'm guessing horseback riding damage. Yeah. This giant looks like it wakes up. Do you wake up? Scales with arcane. Ugh. There's the cliffside path. I could try taking that. I can't speak to Xbox performance at all. The frames are chugging along. Holy shit. I wish I could figure out what the fuck is going on with the frame rate sometimes. I think this is the location to sneak past the castle and go to the second region. I was hoping maybe I'd find like a hidden catacomb or something that I missed over in this area, but doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. It's just going to pop me straight out.
I love playing at 10 FPS. It's my favorite thing. Let's go find Grape Lady instead. Grape Lady's more fun. So I last saw Grape Lady over here. Uh. Mm. The Grape Lady. I continued the hunt for thee. Alright, so. Well, first thing, let's make it daytime so we can see. I don't want to miss her because it's dark. What's the NPC that gives the bad ending? It's uh, the Lord of Frenzy. You meet him in the bottom of the sewers. All right, so Grape Lady was right here and said she was going to continue her quest. Now, we know she had to go up north. So, let's try following this path that had the wolves. We're gonna very, we're just gonna trot along. Everyone keep your eyes out. She's got to be here somewhere. If I was Grape Lady, where would I be? Maybe that shack up ahead? This seemed like it would be the natural spot. Because there's a grace. So I figured she'd be resting here. <clears throat> but no such luck. This armor is late game. Everything I have is late game. There's no achievement related to paintings. You find it in deep root depths. Alright, Grape Lady would have had to come this way. And she's heading towards the Tower of Frenzy. She has no choice but to go this way.
found a magical bow under the arena for the deer boss after you light all the tortoises. Is it considered a legendary bow? Best weapon for dex or strength or quality. Uh, the Sword of a Thousand Truths. You find it in the second to last region of the game in a hut. And you need to go in the hut and do the ring of mo, and then spin three times and you get the sword. Legendary weapons are weapons that you get only when you do leg day and consume a lot of dairy. That is why they're known as the legendary weapons. One shirt, Shimrika later, two lobsters, one dragon, and average I still cannot find my herbs of blood. Go to the other church. Try the other church. Best weapon for pure faith, prayers. Thoughts and prayers is the strongest weapon for late game faith builds. Best quality weapon is sold by the blacksmith. It's called Good Quality Sword. The blacksmith spent a lot of time forging it, so it's very high quality. It even comes with a nice sheath. There's a donger man there. There might be other stuff there. Let me place a beacon or marker that dong dong is there. Is bleed better than faith? Well, that's that's an interesting debate because if you look back at like the 13th century, they swore by bloodletting and using leeches. Um, which in some cases, those medicinal methods were effective. Uh, whereas in general, you know, just praying that someone's gonna get healthy, it's kind of a mixed bag. You know, it depends whether or not, uh, the Almighty's will answer you, so... You know, I, I think you can either do faith or you can do bleed. It's really just gonna depend on, uh... On, on kind of how much of a holy dude you are, really. This game have multi boss battles, yes. Faith seems RNG. I mean, it is, but sometimes that RNG really pays off. You know, when it works, it really works. It's just a question of when it's going to work. We've almost made it all the way up, and I still have not seen fucking Grape Lady. She's just gone, bro. She's gone. She's gone.
da, 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 da. Hang on, I got a, a page get home? I think she did. Hang on. Let me run past these guys. And then I'm gonna go grab food from upstairs and bring it down. It's just the Erd tree. That's just the Erd tree. Ugh. Let me check this. Don't need that. Don't need that. Da 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 da. Ba 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 ba. Okay, uh, ba da 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 All right, let me go get my food. I'll be back.
All right. Got some good ass food. Good ass food. Mm hmm. Do 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 do. Boo do 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 do. I got some motherfucking schnitzel. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, someone getting banned? What I miss? Sounds spicy. Hmm. Hmm. What's your favorite body part to train at the gym? Hmm. Like part or exercise? You, because if we're talking part, probably triceps. If we're talking exercise, probably deadlifts. I'm in Discord, if you want to help find Grape Lady. What's going on? Are you in the second region yet? I don't know, it depends on what you mean by second region. Liernia? The magic one? With yeah. the crystals and shit everywhere? Yeah. Yeah, I went over there. You should help me find the Grape Lady. How would I do that? I have, I have not nowhere near... Any so, of that. so the first grape, you would have you found the first. Right after uh, Godric, right? Yeah. Does she? I didn't see her. Bill, are you talking about the lady that like wants grapes? Yes. Yeah, she, yeah he, she, she go. You find her first, then you find her second, and then you find her a third time. And I think he found her third time. Now he's looking for the fourth. I have the fourth grape. You have the fourth grape. Right. So he's just looking for her. I so don't, let I don't me, know. I'll, I will recap. Let me recap the quest for for those that are just tuning in to the legacy of the grape lady. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you find your very first grape after you finish buttering Godric's biscuit. It's just kind of sitting there as you leave. And you find the grape lady just outside, like right around here, right around the lake facing cliffs. And she goes, please give me a grape. I sure would love a grape. And you tell her, yeah, here, have a grape lady. And then you go down the road a bit. And right here by the purified ruins, you'll find another grape. And then you'll find the lady again. And she'll go, please, sir, give me another grape. And you give her another grape. And then uh -huh. you go a little bit more north and you find her at Gate Town Bridge. Same shit. I would like a grape, kind sir. And you give her another grape. And she goes, mm, the grapes are always so juicy. Do you happen uh -huh. to know what they are? And you tell her, like, they're, they're eyeballs. And she goes, hello. And then as you walk away to rest, you hear her vomiting. You hear, like, blah, 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 blah. And you're like, oh. <laughs> so then you rest at Gate Town Bridge. And you talk to her again after you've given her the third grape. Uh -huh. Which the third grape you get from that, uh, from that dude that's at far south at Castle Morn, whose daughter dies. He invades you later and drops it, or you can just kill him and get it. It doesn't matter when. But so, after the third grape and the puking, you talk to her and she goes, I now know these grapes will lead me to where I need to go. I will become a finger maiden. So. <laughs> Give me another grape. <laughs> that's, so, all right. And the thing is, we fast forward. <clears throat> you go all the way up north and there is a invader that you'll kill at the Frenzy Town, which the grapes are called the Grapes of Shabriri. Shabriri is like the god of Frenzy. You kill the invader dude and you get an item that says eyeball of night vike in flamed yellow, seared with repulsive fingerprint, blah, blah, blah. If offered to the blind maiden, it will lead her to the source of the distant light, allowing her to become a finger maiden. 
Now, I tried to give that to her instead of the third grape, but she wouldn't take that yet, which tells me that there's at least three grapes needed, but I have the final key item I need for her. So the question is, after giving her the third grape at Gate Town, where has she gone? Okay, so she appears right after Godric, mm -hmm. then the ruins, and then Gate Town. Correct. And so looking at the map... You would think she would be up, like, near Artist Shack or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. And I ran Artist Shack, did not see her. Went to eastern Lyurnia Lakeshore, didn't see her. Kept going north to the eastern Tableland, didn't see her. Went over to uh, Church of Owls, didn't see her. So, I mean, I'm traveling north. We're traveling all those graces. But she, seemingly, does not exist. And the thing is, because she's becoming a finger maiden and eating frenzy grapes, <laughs> I'm gonna bet dollars to donuts oh, that yeah. she has the frenzy talisman or the frenzy spells or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, I I, uh, I went to Google to just see if anybody had anything on it, and uh, uh, Google auto corrected me, grape lady. I know that's just that's just it. It's everybody who's looking for her won't use her name, just grape lady. <laughs> Mm hmm Where is Wait. Grape Lady? Where is Grape Lady Elden Ring? <laughs> oh yeah, no, this this all oh, this is pretty useless here. Location to be confirmed. Oh no. The wiki doesn't even have her third location. The wiki doesn't have like anything I'm doing. Uh huh. So that's useless. Yeah. Well I'm not I'm just going through pages, so I, I figured you did too. I'm just seeing if anybody found anything in the last 10 minutes. Who knows? But Yeah, I tried searching, I'm not, I'm not there. searching her on Reddit with her name, and I got nothing. Mm. The other thing I could do is continue hunting legendaries, but where I'm at... I now have, I have uh, six legendary armaments, five legendary yeah. summons, two legendary spells, and seven legendary talismans, and I still don't have a single legendary achievement. Well. Which means there's more out there. That's what it sounds Damn. like. That's what it sounds like. What weapon does he have? Rivers of blood. Some bullshit ass fucking katana, that's what. I like it. Yeah. Should I just make a chat command for this fucking katana so people stop asking? If you want. I think I might have to. People want that katana. It's like the Elden Ring's version of the Chikage or whatever the hell it was called. Basically, yeah. I remember everybody. It's the back of my blood tinge bill, bro. Look at me go. I should just make a build video and talk about it there, and I can guide everyone over for free views. You could do that, yeah. But I won't get any PvP in the video. Yeah. Or PVE, because I've killed every boss I can find. You've still not found any, anywhere to invade or do arena stuff? No. I no. found two arenas in the map. Neither of them are functional, though. They're both... Well, actually, I found three arenas in the map, and all three of them are just solid objects. You can't actually go inside of them. That makes me so oh, upset. Oh, the Colosseums. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea how that just fucking... Blue balls the hell out of me, man. I'm sure it does. That's all I want. That's all I wanted was my arena back, man. That's all I wanted was my arena. I, I didn't care. I'm sure the starter arena would like open up after some PvP. I thought so too, because I was like, okay, you know what? Hey, maybe it's you gotta have ten runes of whatever, right? You gotta yeah, go and ten kills or, or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah, some something like that. And then, but nope. Here we are. I'm not because that's you know you had to you had to do that in two. You had to at least kill somebody to bring back a thing. 
and then the little dwarf man would talk to you. Which all of that sounds like a fever dream at this point, but it just seems like, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I, I don't I don't know why they hate us. I, I don't get it, man. I don't know why they hate us. Why can't we just Did you kill the boss us? in the field with the giants with swords to the southeast of the Warmaster Shack? I don't know. Mm. What boss was that? Mm. That's like way the fuck earlier in the game. I mean, there's giants there. I've, I've never seen a boss over there. What boss are you talking about? Maybe it's something that appears... Have you killed all the giants in that spot? Yeah. Maybe something appears there? Alright, well, alright. Well, they're the, they're probably like the best early game farming. You just make them kill each other and you get 5,000 runes out of it. Mm. I found a little farming area. I get a thousand... I get a thousand runes per kill. Is it the one where you teleport up north and fight the little weird people? Yeah, the little weird people? Yeah. No, it's not bad. They're just kind of annoying to deal with. I always have trouble finding them. Any chance there are unique legendary items exclusively in New Game Plus? I mean, there's a, gotta look a little lower. There's a possibility. I mean, in Dark Souls 2, fucking Wrath of God was New Game Plus 3, right? Uh. Yeah. I don't think it was 3. Like, or 2 or something like that. I mean, it was, I remember that being something weird, but I didn't use faith builds in 2 because they were garbage. So I don't remember those. I've killed a lots of death birds, but I don't think I've killed that one. We can go murder it. Oh, the one all the way south. No, there's the one. And there's gonna be by the Warmaster Shack. There's gonna be somebody going. Oh, what are you talking? Do your faith builds? It's I'm talking PvP, not PVE. So please. Yeah, PVE, well, the faith was pretty decent. No, faith was originally faith fucking clap cheeks in dark souls 2 okay, like launch yeah. faith launch faith was disgusting to yeah <laughs> and then they nerfed it and it became a fucking shadow of its former self for pve um, yeah definitely but in pvp it was still it, it didn't matter none of it mattered i mean faith was okay in three when you could uh fake out cast or like glitch cast fucking wrath of god to make it look like you were casting a healing spell <laughs> yeah someone just walks up to you to stop the heal and just slap him with a wad <laughs> i was i i didn't really do a mage build or anything like that in in three because three magic just wasn't very good so no, i just it decided it to... wasn't it wasn't this That's no weird. definitely wasn't hey here's a horizontal wave of of this and you just go ahead and eat shit now and where is the death bird? I'm gonna kill I saw, him I, really, I really found fast. A dude's, found a, a dude's video of him doing an actual invasion, and the summon just kept spamming the horizontal wave thing for the magic. Yeah. And he was he was dodge 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 dodge. Wait for guy to do the thing. Host is chasing him down with his great sword. Has no clue what he's doing. Huh? And he dodge 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 again. Uh oh, someone's out of magic. So again. When we're running into these invasions because of the co-op mechanic, it just seems like the invaders' first priority is to make them chug all their magic, because you're just, you're just not going to be able to engage until they're done with that. Where's yeah, the bird I did, at? I did my first invasion yesterday. Oh, wow, that's a, it's like a baby death bird. It's a baby death bird. We'll have to see where the place goes. <laughs> Die! This morning, but I haven't felt the difference. Not many multiplayer since then. I I really have not had any like okay. Yeah, I've had the stutter that people talk about, but like not yeah. Major also. No, it, it's just the stutter. Cowboy's doing Death Bird. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it dead. Well, he Death Bird is dead. 
Did you hit it with a Placidix? I did, and it died. <laughs> just Someone so said in just chat, one. Grape Lady was on stream at 238.55 on the right. Might be worth looking at. Hey, I'm uh, trying to... I will, but let me see. What did that guy drop? Alright, I'm not gonna lie. I'd have to do the math backwards, because... Uh, what me, did a boss just live. drop? I killed him so fast. Let me see. He dropped. Ooh, branch feathered. Blue feathered branch sword. I didn't see a sword. Maybe it's a talus or a uh, like casting thing. Hmm. Let's see. Let me try and catch the icon of it when it screen pops. It never screen popped, it just popped on the side. Blue tethered branch sword. Oh, it's an accessory? A medallion. Tower Raises maybe? defense when HP is low. That's garbage. Uh, how far back did you say you saw Grape Lady? They said at 2 hours 38.55. And... I'll need to go... Hang on. I'll need to go to the stream. Was it back 2.38.55? Or was it 2.38.55 into the stream? Yeah, that's the question here. Because it's live, so we see the numbers reversed. Back 2.38.55? Or was it... Two yeah. So, well, let me see. Stream's been live exactly three hours. Oh. So it's either, just over. What, 22 minutes ago or. 22, 22 and in. 5 minutes? Maybe that shack up on there? Yeah, because mine says, I mean, I know it's not back to 58, because that isn't. That's, that's lava area. Into the stream? Well, you're not the one who said that. I'm not inclined to believe it. All right, he said two... Well, hang on. The stream has been live. Two... What do you say? Two what? 38? 38.55, apparently. All right, so that goes... That's been... All right, so we started at three three o five basically. So, 2.57. That's... 2.50... Hang on. 3.05... Alright, so I'm eight minutes, and then what did he say? Two thirty-eight. So two thirty-nine. Four, the three, two. Said it was, said it was like two hours. Two twenty-seven. One twenty-seven. Zero twenty-seven. So twenty-seven minutes ago. I was reposting what an earlier dude said, just in case it was something. This is wild, Mike. And he said she was to the right? Yeah. That's what he said. Mm. I don't want to say, oh, he was just mistaken, but I'm looking right now. I think he was mistaken. No one wants that to say he's mistaken because we all want to be true. Weapons. Get the great lady crap out of the way. This armor is late. It's 150 because he's had the game for two weeks. Do not worry, She's there is not. The tower there's not some early super spot to farm. She has no choice but that we know of. Because believe, believe, believe us, we would have that video up right now. <laughs> Zed, he saw her to the right. I'm watching the video, I don't see her at all. I mean, I ran by a fiery camp, I don't... I think he looked at a fucking NPC and thought it was, or uh, an enemy and thought it was Grape Lady. That would be unfortunate. <clears throat> Cause I'm looking, and I'm looking, and... Another magical bow on... 
I see a goat. Go to the arena for the deer boss. After you light all Was the it the goat? Is it considered a legendary bow? And the legendary bow someone was talking about. I mean, whoever saw it could go back and clip it. You have the ability to clip streams. Uh, and you could drop the clip in Discord. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't know. I scrolled back and I didn't see it. It is. There's always got to be an Avalon. There's always got to be. Someone said they found a a legendary bow earlier, like below the arena or something. Mm. Lady have moved to the round table? No, because the quest ain't done. Alright, we are gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna run that same route. And if y'all see her, let me know, chat. I'll keep my eye on stream, but you're ahead of me. There's a dude to your right already. <laughs> Whoever that was. That was just a phantom. There's no dude oh. over here. There's a man, look like a man in the field. Man in the field, what? Look at a little black man in the field, like he's got a black coat and all that. Uh, there's like a corpse. Oh. Uh, well, I, I saw it quick, so I don't know. I'm just gonna put the katana away so people stop asking about it. No kidding. Just walk around another bastard story. Hey, where'd you get that? Yeah, it'll just be something else. Whatever you <laughs> where'd you get that hand, bro? You have to run around. Hey! Get that hand. Hey, where's the horse? I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck, bro. Help. Beating the game. I haven't found the horse yet. Is this the walkthrough? Hey. Cowboy, is this walk the walkthrough? Walkthrough when? Please, please die. <laughs> <laughs> Looking. It's a fire camp. Where are you, my sweet great maiden? Finger maiden's a pretty fun thing to say. Yeah. Yeah, but I am tired of hearing the word finger in this game already, so that's that's bad news for everybody involved. The fingers. Like what are y'all touching people for? Keep your fingers to yourself. The touchers, I don't know. Who was that. it that said they found a legendary bow? Yeah, Chad, who said that? Me, I did. I found the bow. I found a, a halo skull at the top of the mountain. Been fingered out? Yeah, they fingered me out. Done with it. Bastard sword is on Google, but the katana isn't, bro. I have two different sources, two different churches, four plus hours of searching, and no katana. I'm losing it. Save us all. Dinner's on me, katana on you. Bro, I don't know what to tell you. I told you where I found it. All right, like I can't. Bro, wear katana, please. I'm not lying to you, just to lie. Like I, just I got to be sword art online. <laughs> I got my katana up north. I Come went on, up I there, and I had a dude invade me. And when the dude invade me, I beat his ass, and I got the katana. But where you, you're not telling at me. the church you at the fucking the church. church. So now I want to be Kirito. Please, I need this katana. <laughs> you two, now. shut up. You're not helping the situation. 
Phil is withholding critical information, please. <laughs> Fucking typical streamer, too big for his own britches, won't help me out with my katana, please, please. I've been, I've been looking for so long, I just My need girlfriend a will not speak to me until I have rivers of blood. My family is starving because yeah, I can't I need it. <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> Que buenos graphics! Que buenos! Please! <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a day. What is this? Oh no, not this guy! Fuck, it's, it's Dickface McGee. I'm better than I used to be. Die, Dickface McGee. Enjoy bleed. Damn, he's slow walking on you and everything, man. He has the katana for it. This is how every invader feels. So they get killed by the same shit. Look at that. Magma. Get the Austin Powers cowboy shirt. I hate that guy. You don't like Austin Powers? No, that that dude. He's invaded always me a few not. times, and he's always an asshole when he does. Mm. Enemy failed. Why is he an asshole? He's just throwing a sword at you repeatedly. Yeah, he's just fucking Darth Mauling a sword through the air and doing chunks of damage. That was the easy version. You should see the late game one. Mm -hmm. Good thing you had that katana. Hey, where is? Where do you get that, by the way? You have to get good. Oh shit. Well, I, I expect to walk through soon. Very oh. soon. Oh. What are you eating? I forgot to ask. Jaeger schnitzel. Oh. I'm gonna Google that. Well, the pictures on Google look fun. I do like mushrooms on stuff. The best Jaeger schnitzel sauce. Jaeger schnitzel sauce. So, sauce. So say. Made just like Oma. I'm pretty sure I nailed that that translation. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well done. Yeah, that pronunciation was amazing. Boys want katanas, men want great swords. Oh, is this is that is that a hill you want to die on? Apparently, some dude in China has been taking my Elden Ring re videos and re uploading them on Billy Billy. I don't know what it's that. Basically, Chinese YouTube. Dude, a long time ago, and I'm this cool, is always, bro. this is, this has always bothered me. Four of my videos were posted on some Japanese forum, and they had a lot to say about those different videos, and I had no idea what they were saying because I couldn't just translate the page. They're and it was paragraph. You suck. After paragraph, after paragraph, but they kept repeating my name, and it was really weird. Oh, and I would just, I would just see like just, dragon uh, yeah, 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 that <laughs> was basically it, over and over, and and then and then some numbers would be thrown in there, so I'm only guessing they were repeating what I was saying, or like 
oh, well, he said it was this. No, 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 it's not that. It's this or whatever. I don't know. But it, they just kept they just kept repeating it. And I have no idea what the fuck they were talking about. They didn't talk about anybody else either. So nobody came in there and be like, oh, well, uh, I saw on this and that or this person's. No, it was just me. And they had like 37 posts about it. And I, I'll i never know what the fuck. And it was like 17 different people talking about it. I was like, what are they know. doing? I don't even know if I could like hunt down this dude who was re-uploading shit. It's so hard to go after copyrights for China. Oh yeah, it's, it's that's non-existent. At this point, I mean, they, they can set up bots too, just record everything and then throw them in. And when they watch them and be like, wow, man, you speak some really fucking good English for being a Chinese dude. Ooh. You sound just like this YouTube guy I know named Cowboy. Oh, yeah, we good friend. Mm -hmm. Rena. <laughs> that, that, that accent's on a slippery slope. <laughs> Where are you, Finger Maiden? Do you think he gets past because the dude is literally stealing from him, though? Yeah, I guess. I gave my. <laughs> I've never had a problem with accents. I think accents are just funny. Accents are funny. I've always preferred the old samurai voice when I do the Japanese thing. I don't like doing the, the anime one. It's. I think. I think it's one thing. Like if you're, if you're using the an accent to like, make racial remarks about them. That's that's a different story. Right. Yeah. But just using an accent, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that. That's racist. Shut up, Bobby. Hey, Bob. Yeah, Bobby, what do you know? You know, you know, you know that, you know that show, the the whitest kids you know. Bobby is uh, part of a spinoff series called The Whitest Asians You Know. Is it? Is this what we're doing? Dear Lord. Are you calling him a banana? <laughs> He's bas basically. You can't do that. You basically. can't do that. I'm white. Why you can't do that. White? I'm hot. You can't, you can't call him that. It's okay, That's ridiculous. Bob. I love all of your whiteness, even the half. <laughs> Where? You'll meet my, you'll meet my dad. Talk about a slippery slope. Where are we going here yeah. on this? Hey, if you Hello? meet my dad, you'll you'll see where it's it's all all Asians left at him. It didn't go to me. I don't He's approve enough this Asian conversation. To carry the family. I renounce this conversation. Homies hate Bobby. Fuck you, Hugh. <laughs> Probably I like a smart dick to me, little bitch. Damn. Like oh, he, he definitely got you there. I like Bobby. Bobby's a fun guy. Bobby? Ooh. Yeah, Bobby. Ooh. Where? Like Bobby, we, we bounce pretty well. Where is the fucking chilling? Man, yeah, we're chilling, having a good time, talking, shooting the shit. Y'all having there. a good time? I'm trying to find the <laughs> fucking grape lady. Well, it's not my fault that you're looking for the finger maiden. She's got. She's got to be here. Why is the G here? Well, yeah, we gotta play this tonight. I hope I find her and then just like. <laughs> I like, found her, but I I'll, killed I'll tell her you. instead of continuing the quest. <laughs> I tried you I'll, for katana knowledge. I'll tell you when you make a video on the katana. <laughs> I probably will. There's enough people asking about it. I could make a video on on my. Everyone wants to know where did I get my armor from. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Where did I get the katana? I'm say is, I went there. I followed your instructions step by step, and it's not there. And I'm very upset. Well, I'm already getting a ton of that. People are like I followed the instructions for the volcano. Half half the video is people being like, "Dope, followed it, got the thing, invading." Thanks, dude. And the other half is like, "I did it, and it didn't work." I'm like, I don't like. I don't know what to tell you, man. There's other people who are doing it, and it's working. Like you fucked up dude. somewhere. They're gonna they're gonna be fun in PvP. I don't I don't know I'm glad why it didn't work for you. I don't know what you did different. I still haven't done it yet, the invasion finger I need to. I'm probably too low level to deal with that area anyway. Don't just summon me, I'll deal with it. Uh well I don't want that. It's one boss. I need to start my second playthrough so I can do it. Where is the dude that said he saw her? He's not here. He's gone. Son of a bitch. He's over there. <coughs> oh my god. 
could have seen her. She didn't eat my eyes. Thirsty bitch. I'm gonna make it nighttime and see what bosses I find up here at night, because I got nothing else to fucking do. Grape lady is gone and dead and something. And... That donkey got dumpy dump truck though. <laughs> I'm reading chat. I agree. Yeah, we're all all right. Consensus has been reached. Donkey thick as hell. <laughs> I have found lots of katanas. I found the poison katana, and the bleak katana, and the ice lightning katana. Yeah, you enchant it, and it gets blessed with icy lightning that does both lightning damage and frostbite. That sounds sick. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Okay, what the hell? Did you check the places you get boss sigils? Those are holy finger sites or something. There's nothing up in those. I've been to all of those. It's just, they are, um... Those zones are strictly for restoring your runes, and that's it. Am I missing something? I'm, I'm like, trapped in Rani's house. Have you talked to the people she told you to talk to? I have. At least I think I have. You gotta talk to the giant. The you gotta talk to Blaith. And you gotta talk to, uh... Uh, Dickhead. Giant, Blaith, and Dickhead. No, Bobby, this is not Elden Ring. Okay, that guy's been talked to. This is that mod for Dark Souls 2. I thought that this was a Dark Souls 1 overhaul mod. Nah, this is Blue Sentinel. It's really turned the game around, if you ask me. He's playing Overwatch right now. <laughs> There's gotta be more dead birds. <laughs> Oh, where, oh, where is my dead birdie yet? Oh, where, oh, where could he be? I think... I have a katana to prep. go kill him with. Well, see, the problem with the walkthrough prep <clears throat> is I want to do it, but I'm uh -huh. still missing the achievements for legendary items. And then, right. so if I do the walkthrough prep, and I still am missing the achievements for legendary items, then I'm just you could fucked. Do you, could do, you could do this on your off time, and then you have the, the, the walkthrough. Look, I'm just saying, I know what people can be searching for, and it's going to be that early mid game. I know people want the walkthrough, and I want to make the walkthrough, but I also want to know where the stuff is that I need to make the walkthrough. Well, that's, yeah, but that would be later. I mean, it could be later. It could just be around here somewhere. And the thing All is, right, like, this isn't, this isn't like, you know, I need to solve the snow puzzle. I'm not worried about that. I'll solve that whenever. But... I can't make a walkthrough covering all trophies if I don't have all the fucking trophies. The other thing that's uh, preventing the walkthrough is the final ending is still unknown. And the only people have it are cucks that cheated to get the achievement on Steam. And I know they cheated because there's not a single fucking detail that exists on the internet talking about how to get the ending. And who the fuck gets a secret ending and then isn't like, I gotta tell people how. Nobody. That's who. Meaning that the 6.7% of players that have it are a bunch of small dick little bitches that cheated their achievements in. 6.7%? Yeah, there's no, there's no fucking way 6.7% of people playing this game got the secret ending and not a single one of those people has been like, oh yeah, to do this yeah, ending you just, gotta, you just gotta do I mean, this. I could, I could see a couple people doing it and not caring because, you know, whatever, but... I don't know. Like, Either that or the achievement lists are bugged. Because... Seven? I don't think that. Let me hang on. Let me let me look at let me look at Steam. Let me look at Steam. Because there is a huge there's a huge number of achievements that are so if I go to global achievement stats on Elden Ring. Oh, okay. Never mind. Well, Steam has updated. The other day it was uh No, wait, is it just broken? No, never mind. Okay, okay. So it was bugged the other day. Because right now on Steam, it shows 0% for everything, even the achievements I have. It okay. shows 60% of players have reached round table hold. Yeah, the other the other day it showed, uh, it was like 6.7% have completed this achievement. And I'm like, it's the secret fucking ending! Who? Who yeah, completed I that? Say, I, don't, I don't know, but yeah, that, that sounded like a high number. Dragon Lord Placidus Axe is showing 0%, even though 
I go to my achievements and it says Dragon Lord Placidex earned on blah 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 blah. All right, listen. I get so it. they're not accurate you at all. You then did it. you did it. Okay. I know I did. I'm just trying to figure out why the the achievements aren't accurate at all. Cause it's cause they, they're like well whatever who cares. Well, Steam should say 0.00001 percent because what, somebody you want, you want I know, Steam I to just say fighting cowboys. The only he wants yeah, he wants yeah. like the, he wants like he wants like the news update. Local man who was at game awards show uh, beats finds, dragon before beats other people after having game two weeks early. More news yes. at eleven. Yeah, yeah, I know. You want Bloody that? Bloody fucking da! You brought it up. Lottie da me. Oh Lottie da you all I want. Well I know. This That's is where Katana this is where right here. Right here, folks. Look at it right here. This is where you get it. This is where you get it. I'm right where? I'm here. Look, see where? this fucking church? Where? This is this is where you get it. Look at that, where? right there. Right there on the map. Right there on where the map. This is where it's at. Woo! First Church America. First Church America. Woo! This is the place. This is the place. Where? Right here. Right here on the map, baby. Right it's here. Specific. Right yeah, here. but where specifically? Where it's it? the realm of the giants. Woo! Woo! Yeah, yeah, we're on the ground, bro. We're on the ground. You get fucking invaded. That's where, bro. So you can't get invaded right now? Oh, I've already killed you him, so I ain't getting invaded. So you can't really confirm this is where you get it. Though. Do I gotta pull up the fucking Let's Play video and screen share it? <laughs> He's lying to us. <laughs> I'm gonna dislike the stream. You won't be able to tell because YouTube didn't see him get it. Anymore, and I'm tired, dude. I'm tired of these clickbait articles. I just want. Even if I just had like one of the all legendaries achievement, I could at least go. All right, we're making. We can probably find the rest in the walkthrough. That's that's good progress. Let's do this. I don't have anything here. This looks very much like a something's gonna attack type area. Let's go find out what it is that wants to die to my braids. To you what now? Braid. It's a giant frozen lobster. I don't like those things. It's honestly terrifying. Like, I mean, you fight crabs in, in other Dark Souls games and you're like, Man, those crabs are fucking brutal. Giant and then crab. you come here and the game's like, what if we gave you a fucking frozen lobster that can snipe you and cause frostbite from 30 yards away? It sounds like this, yeah. I wish I could summon the giant frostbite lobster. That's all I would fucking use. <laughs> lobster, go! <laughs> go! <laughs> With the red lobster's revenge. He's such a cool fucking summon. He won't, he, he, he won't be put in the tank. I'm still trying to figure out where to get the fanged ashes. Or the fanged imp <laughs> ashes. Because I started with it as my starter <laughs> item. This isn't a very good walk for the LOL. Who <laughs> said that? <laughs> fucking Super Chuck 5. <laughs> Where is this? I missed this one. It's in chat. This isn't a very good walk through. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what can you do, right? Oh my god. I'm gonna put this out there, and it's only because Super Chuck brought it up. When people end their sentence with an LOL, I think and imagine in my head the most fuckboy laugh I could ever like imagine. I just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah, like yeah, like that. <laughs> My name is Red Tibideo Adox. <laughs> Every time. That's just all just I think kidding. of. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I got to do I made the stream it look stupid. L O L. I don't want to be up in this region anymore. And these monsters can't make me stay against my will. Geronimo! <laughs> Thank you, Flask of Never Lose Souls. What about LMAO? LMAO is... LMAO! I love LMAO. I'm gonna be honest with you. LMAO at the oh. end of a statement is, is like even worse. Personally, I'm a, a really big fan of using emojis. I know you love them. I know you love the emojis. I love emojis. 
dang, I guess I got to laugh like, ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 Oh, chat. Help me find legendaries. <laughs> chat, you need to help me help it's you. If y'all if y'all want this walkthrough to happen, I need the legendary items. I am currently items. sitting here playing this game. <laughs> and I gotta <laughs> tell you, this walkthrough hasn't been very helpful. LOL. Ha ha ha. Just you just stop. Just stop. Should just tell stop. me where to get the katana stop. immediately. Just, just stop. Stop. L M A O. All 200 characters. Mm. <laughs> you have to <laughs> That's a full tweet right there. Two other characters. Pow! Someone said something about a legendary bow they found under a coliseum or something, but then they didn't elaborate at all, and they disappeared, so... I can only assume that they were lying. I guess I prefer LOL or LMAO. LMAO! Over somebody like role playing in chat, I guess I could I could deal with that. Like they put they put in like. like what about what about raffle? Like, what about raffle? No one says that. Raffle, raffle, raffle. Damn, raffle. you really are stuck in 2008. So what? Who says raffle anymore? I don't know, man. Somebody. Yo, raffle cop to check out my gift. Check out my MySpace page. It's on the construction at the moment. We'll get there. Fucking uh, fight for my top five. It's a big achievement. High school knows it. And we're ready to fucking kick off. I have a stroke. What the fuck is that? <laughs> How about Raffle Mao? Let's see. That's a combination that's, that's, of Raffle. That just feels like that's, that just feels like it's that feels like it's just overhand. Roll on floor, know. laughing my ass off. Raffle Mao. That seems like overhand. Hold on. What's, wait, what's the most combined fuckboy tactic we can come up with here? Don't come in here with the umbasa. Don't come in here with that. Oh, oh, umbasa! Mosquitoes attack these fucks. Actually, they're too far for mosquitoes. Frenzy the best of Oh, I know, I know about RAR XD. I know, about that. I know all about RAR XD. What about Grr? I, man. Did I, did I, I, did I show you that comment? I mean, yeah, I, I saw Grr. I saw Grr. <laughs> <laughs> you got Grr at. That's intense. <laughs> <laughs> that one was pretty fucking funny. I used to love his videos, but he pretends he's playing them live, and I'm, he's I'm not. Still, I'm still Grr. trying to wrap my head around that. And it was on a stream I know I was on reading chat. Grr. So I don't know how in the hell he's going to sit there and say that was pre-recorded footage. I am here right now. And I took offense to that. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm there! This is, <laughs> You're not. This must be like how the CIA feels, man. When they're just like, yeah, I bet you were out there at Roswell. Dude, I've been in fucking Wisconsin. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, Uh-huh, that's just what you want me to think. I know, you're just a big liar. <laughs> this head that sucks, dude. What a mundane thing. Drop me some runes. I'm on PS4. If you have any, please, man. <laughs> please. <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> you got any more runes, man? Please, man. No, please. <laughs> I'm having a real rough go at this game. <laughs> oh my God. I, just, I just think of Chappelle. Hey, you got, you got. Got any more of them? Got more of them rooms? Yeah, you got any more of them rooms, man? Well, these enemies are pittance, please. Uh, 
What level are you? What level are you? 150! Chill the fuck out, Robert Kirk! I'm saying your name out loud so you know this isn't pre-recorded. You just need to chill out. Everybody's having a good time, but you... Level are you like you can space your letters to be fucking seen better without getting fucking made fun of, you absolute prick. Unbelievable. Thank you, sir. Your mama. <laughs> I got I wonder if I can even scroll back far enough to to the comment about a legendary bow. Or if that's just know. if that's just gone to time. But I'd like I'd like to forever now. The farthest back I can go is Jaeger Schnitzel. Don't you smiley best. face at me, motherfucker. <laughs> Do you know where to get the hollow brand for Fia to access Fortisax? Yes. This is actually a question I do know, and you were specific enough that I'll give you a serious answer. Uh, you need to get to the top of the Divine Tower of Lyurnia. To get to the top of the Divine Tower of Lyurnia, you need to invert the Carrion Study Hall upside down, and then navigate it while it's upside down to reach the Lyurnia Tower Bridge, to fight past a Godskin Apostle, to then reach the tower. To get the How item, you invert the tower. You invert the tower by following the first step of Ronnie's train, where you go through uh, Nakron, and then you get her the legendary dagger. And upon bringing back the legendary dagger to Ronnie, she will then give you the thing. That area looks pretty fucking unique over there. Is it too much to ask for runes to try? Oh my god. He's still here. <laughs> Please, I need this. Please, sir, do you have any more runes? <laughs> I just need just a bit. Just a pinch. A smidgen. A crumb. Oh, shit. I think those structures I'm looking at are the yellow organics ruins, but from over here. Dad, we're, we're, don't you understand that we're busy, man? We're busy. We can't drop you runes. We're busy. Is it too much to ask that you respect his time? Do you ever think of that? Why don't you just kill stuff? I can get runes. It's I like, need runes to kill things, please man, help me! It's like that whole get a job to get money concept, but you just gotta walk around and hit stuff with a sword. Hit the bricks. I just wanted to know Cowboy's level, I copy his builds because I suck at this game. Uh, sorry to break it to you, but I'm level 150, and this build is a work in progress, so... Mosquitoes! Big streamer ain't got time to drop some runes for us working folk just toiling in the some mines for some smithing stones. Boss man won't even give me a 2% rate on my rune wages. Rune wages. <laughs> Please sir, I need a rune drop. <laughs> Since the beginning All Souls games, Cowboy is a legend in my eyes and his sidekick yelled at me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that's not real. Robert, you take that you're, back. you're slowly becoming my favorite person in chat. <laughs> slowly, but surely. Does this mean Dragon has to wear tights? <laughs> oh my god, the sidekick? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's okay, fucking Okay then, sidekick Dragon, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that later. <laughs> but for now, I've chosen to laugh. That's funny because it's true. You fucking wish. 
absolutely fucking wish. You're such a good sidekick, Dragon. Uh-huh, you've constantly sought my approval for years, kissed my ass. Dragon, what do you think of this? Dragon, oh, Dragon, you start PMing me through all days. What? When, when was I PMing you through all days? The last two weeks, for one thing. That was I disgusting mechanics. I found this thing and I can't talk about it with anybody else because you're the only one who doesn't care about spoilers. Hey, man, here's fucking 16 PMs and I'm like, where's that one thing? I don't know, but here's 16 more things. Hey, I'm just trying to share information to get you to that thing. I don't care. Well, we did. We, did, we found the thing. Oh, you did? But we have not found the arena I'm looking for. Because it doesn't exist. I'm really upset, man. I'm so upset. That sucks ass. Maybe there's a secret dungeon inside one of these big fucking trees. That sounds That's just bad. crazy enough to be believable. Oh man. I have so many souls that I just don't really need. Let's go on and. Let's pop that. There we go, just a quick 10,000. I can... I will throw that out. I mean, you could, you could've just... You know... Trot that on the ground, but I guess you just decided. Man, looking for soul drops, tearing his eyes out right now. So this is the Yalog Annex Tunnel and the Ruins. We cleared that out. CB is Superman, Greg is Batman, Dragon is Aquaman. I get to have sex with fish? Yeah, That's you do, sick. boy. Also, Aquaman, Aquaman owns the oceans. That's pretty sick. I'll That's, take that. That's a lot more to manage than your apartment. Well, I've always, I've always been told that I was lower than my station, so I just need to do it. I can hit it out. I'd rather be Aquaman than Batman, I'm not gonna lie. Being Superman, yeah, that's something else, but like, I don't know, I, I'd, I'd honestly rather be Aquaman than Batman. Batman's kind of a bitch. I'm not gonna lie. And that's not really Batman's fault, it's more the writer's fault for having to tell him, you know, you his origin story over and over again. Which makes Batman look like a big giant crybaby. His parents but, died. I mean, it My just says over and over. Well, and, and, also, and also, capitalism. Batman... Batman is kind of responsible for a lot of people dying, so I'm I'm not really I, I don't know man I'd rather not be Batman. I'm cool with that. You'd rather be Joker? Uh oh, I know what kind of person you are. A quirky little the society. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> one day it's all right. One day you'll grow out of it. I'd rather be Harley Quinn, just so I could play with my tits. Okay. Well. Yeah, you. You keep making the conversation Jager awkward. <laughs> you yeah. Keep eating Jager schnitzel and you have tits to play with. You'll be all good. No, it's there's like there's there's both places around here that have German food are like far, like 45 minutes plus away, which is disappointing. Oh that's, I love Jager schnitzel, but 45 minutes there eating 45 minutes that's that's a fucking that's a journey. That's too far to just have a meal. It's like half a day commitment for German food. Yeah. 30 minutes. Nah, yeah, I, I can. Not gonna be happy about it, but I, I'll do it. 45 to an hour? No fucking sir. <laughs> Where the fuck is the stuff I need? Where do I go indeed? I need all the legendaries. Let me, let me check the, the Discord. Tox is flash. Yeah, Tox can be flash. That seems after sure. his hour. Yeah, you know. Not the fastest man alive at all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm like maybe top five though. His his main shtick is something someone else does better. Yeah, that no, yeah, could be that could definitely be Tox. <laughs> See, like I told you, everybody wants to go low tier on on the fuck with Aquaman when really he's the goat. You just don't realize it. At least Aquaman is the best at something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's, yeah, he's the best at uh, breathing Fucking underwater <laughs> and having sex with fish and you're looking around and when you see that fish, I can tell what to do. Wow, that's cool. I do my taxes. <laughs> I bet he's great at taxes. 
Superman never done taxes in his life. Look at him. I mean, when you Works can just a newspaper, you can melt the IRS with your eyes. Why do you need to? <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> we could all resort to violence. Doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. But I'll tell you. I'll tell you who needs to pay his taxes. Batman. Batman is just Jeff Bezos, but with hair. Oh, that's why he wants to help people. That man doesn't want to help people. True, if if Batman sick. wanted to help people, he would take he all of his fucking he, money he would, he and he would have put it into he could have done affordable that, housing he, for Gotham. But and he could have clean also, up the drug problem. But instead, he just wants to run around in a fucking suit and punch people. Yeah, real but, fucking I mean, nice thing. He out of people with a problem. <laughs> and he could. He could have killed the people who are like mass murderers and shit. Yeah, but no, oh no, I have standards. Meanwhile, there's thousands of homeless in the streets of Gotham that are fucking starving to death. You ain't gonna see Batman lift a finger for them. No, 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 you don't understand. The board of trustees. See, that's that's how that works, right? That's just how it works. The board of trustees. Can't get through nothing. The corruption. He's gotta do something about that first. Maybe it sucks. Damn, you found another man. You found a lot of those stones. Um, yeah. Death the right bird. I knew there was one more of you. Oh, this is a real one. Oh. Yeah, he got wings. Oh, oh, yeah, he's... Oh, yeah, okay, you're... I see, you're not the one I one-shot earlier, are you? No, you're not. Let's try and hit him with the decay. And he's gonna smack the shit out of me. Great, now the octopus has decided to join the battle. And we're dead. That's, that's nice. Thank you, Mr. Octopus. Call your dogs out, dude. <laughs> kidding. That one came out of the ocean to kick his ass. It's already up there. Don't ask me how an octopus is living in a snowy region, but... No, he's, he's doing it. I want to point out something real quick. Yeah, what do you want to point out? How many of these, how many of these bird things have you fought so far? Uh, one, two, three, this would be the fourth, I believe. It's the fourth, this fourth bird thing? Yeah. And that's, the, so they're just like, you know, they're different versions of the bird-like things? They're progressively stronger, so the one that we encountered a little no, I get bit that. ago on right, right, I get that. that, I'm just saying, they are, in fact, just beefier versions of three skins of, of the one thing, right? No, they add, they add additional moves. The starter ones didn't have any of, like, the crazy shit. Like how that guy created an orb and then smacked it, and it did a giant trail of black flame that ran at me. Uh -huh. The early ones don't do that. This one seems like it has a similar moveset to the one that I fought. Uh, I, I fought one with a moveset similar to this back in Kaled. And was pretty underleveled for it, and I'm definitely the appropriate level, but... I have a, uh, a build that focuses around long-ass casts and bleed damage, and this is an undead bird. And, um... Yeah, I'm not I sure. I, I don't I don't think the bird's gonna bleed. I was just gonna ask. Remember when everybody complained about the smelter demon? Remember when they got mad about that? Yeah, sure. Why? Yeah, okay. I just, no, just, just point that out. No, People I mean think about what they will. Think about what? People can point. People can take that how they will. But I remember that. I'm not sure what what point you're making. The point is, they get, they get everybody when they're like, "Oh, B team just reuses bosses. Fuck them." And then they, all the other ones have the same thing, but they never bring that up. But they bring it up for Dark Souls Two for some reason. I don't know. Oh, why. okay. I always just do that because I just want to hate on two, and they're just like, "Oh." Smelter Demon, it's a two! This game is doo-doo! Elden Ring does it like seven times. Oh, ten out of ten. Uh, there's there's tons of bosses that get reused in this game. There's... The the uh, Bloodborne Cat, I fought, I think, three variations of the Bloodborne Cat, and then at one point you just fight two of them. Oh, sick. So it went like, variation Bloodborne Cat, another variation Bloodborne Cat, an upgraded spell version of the Bloodborne Cat, and now two Bloodborne Cats.
I don't, uh, I don't feel, I don't know about this build, man. I like this build, but I don't think it's going to beat Deathbird. I mean, I beat him before, well, no, I beat him before mainly using Flame of Frenzy, but the previous Deathbird fight I could have a summon along. I that's don't... pretty weird, uh, Veritas. That's, that's, that's kind of weird, man. He's just a dude. We're all just people here. That's kind of, this is a weird thing to say there in chat. I don't know, man. Where are you at, Deathbird? What did we do to trigger Deathbird? I was just running through areas. Alright, question one. Can Deathbird be afflicted by rock? Does not seem like it. Deathbird hurts. I don't mind that people put pineapple on the food, but I just personally won't do that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Bro, he's not even letting me get off Placidax. He's like, sit the fuck down. There's gonna be some bosses you can't cast on. Not at every point in time, at least. That's alright, this is mainly the test run. Let's see if we can bleed him at all. Got a big stick. Max Flasks is 14. Oh man, he got you. He's gonna get me a few times. I am sad. I think you I think you need to be under him a bit. I mean the last time I beat him, um Well no, actually no, the last time I bought I fought one, um I wasn't allowed to have a summon either. The early ones, I think you can have a summon for. The late ones, they take away that uh, that uh, advantage. Mm. Um, I could try magma. I have a feeling it's probably it looks like it would be weak to fire, right? Sure. We're gonna try fire. You sure look? You sure think so? Looking at it, you never know. Yeah, you never know, but. Sure as shit try fire and see what happens. I hope so, because my katana is partially fire damage. I'm hoping the big octopus will show up to help. We don't know, Hyperion. That's pretty good, 1500 damage on it. No, stop it, bad bird. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh great, now he's going into phase two. That's fun. That's nice. That's nice. That's good. Bro, this is the shittiest matchup. He's immune to bleed. Yeah, but uh, he's immune to like everything that makes me me. He's yeah. no choice. Flame of frenzy. Oh yeah, I'm dead. Oh, we got the stagger. Suck 
my balls! Uh-oh, I'm under you. Oh, no, here comes the grab again. Fuck this attack. This is annoying. <laughs> Shit, dude. and he's down. If I can get him before he... Die. Prick. Uh, and that is why you don't go all in on only having blood abilities. Damn! 220 fucking thousand? Jesus. That is by far the most souls I have seen off of a boss. Explosive ghost flame? That sounds fun, right? That does sound... Um, Pretty fun. Faith ability? I sure should probably, hope it's a legendary. And it probably be fucking is. Alright, spell. Let's see. Uh, it is a int and faith ability. What? It's, 40, oh, it's dark. 42 faith, 30 int. Sorcery of the Servants of Death strikes the ground with the staff, triggering an explosion of ghost flame that burns the surrounding area. There's some interesting dual scaling stuff. Rolling magma. Explosive Ghost Flame. That's pretty expensive for a stat investment. It is. Thirty. There's some That's other crazy. other dual stuff that I've seen. Um, order healing does death blight. This fires out three rings. There's some <laughs> other stuff, but that's sadly, it's not a legendary spell. So I really don't give a shit about it. Cowboy's gonna find like two or three more of those and then be like, okay, so I'm thinking 200, maybe the, the meta. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do I want here? I have one more spell slot. <laughs> 46 for you, can't use you. Someone pointed out a ladder that I missed in Stormvale earlier. I could go back, but I feel like there's nothing there at this point for me. Terza with the don't know. Appreciate that. Um. Ah, fuck. I don't know. Do we even need? Hey, this what do you um? Seven? What's the program that you use to record? OBS. You just use OBS. You convert it to MP4, right? Yeah, I do. I do MP4 okay. by default. MKV yeah. is good if you're editing, but I uh, well, your boy doesn't I do that. I I mistakenly recorded one of that that PVP video I made in uh, MKV. Oh, was that fun? I bet that was real. That fun. yeah, that took uh, I think it was five hours to upload to YouTube. No, M MKV is good if you're gonna convert it to MP4 via editing software afterwards, but. And all you gotta do is just set it to automatically do that before, yeah. I'll do that. All right, good. I did the settings. I was looking at it. I was just making sure because, man, because I used to use the old Elgato stuff to record. I, I haven't recorded anything on PC yet. That's so this is new. Ooh, I'm going fast. Here I go. I don't know why people gotta do that. Man. Was this grape lady? What what are, you, what are you talking about? Did you find her? Remember, she appears multiple times. We're looking for her. What fourth show up? Should be fourth and final. You'd hope. About two hundred converted to two sixty-seven. Yes. Oh man. <laughs> Sorry about that chat, I was outside smoking, so, uh, got to hear some local jackasses want everybody to know that they put a extra flat muffler on their Honda. 
just it'll go real loud. Let's find out what Red Main Knight Agha can do. Who else is legendary? We tell the headless is legendary. Good drag. Oh! Online strips without clothing. Well, I would hope so. Yeah, it's kind of, uh... It's kind of required unless you're into some weird shit. Yeah, that's part of the whole stripping thing. I'd hope so. I love that dive kill you did in Rise. Well, thank you, Tippy. I appreciate that. They were cruising for... Uh, oh, man. I don't even know where to go. I want to at least find another boss so I can test my summon out, but, like... Where? You want to do what? I, I've been testing out the summons to figure out, like, what summon I'm going to recommend to people for the playthrough. Mm-hmm. Because I like the Mimic Summon, but I have a hybrid build. With hybrid builds, your Mimic Summons... Your Mimic Summons are going to be hard to beat. Because they can, like, my, my Summon can use my Katana and all that. Right. But if you have a more, um, you know, if you don't have a bunch of spells or crazy OP weapon, the Mimic Summon starts to lose some of its flavor. Right. You know what I like using? So far? That Plague Dog. Plague Dog it's does just, okay. He just dies kind of fast. I feel he does. He does die kind of fast, and I can't upgrade him yet. But uh, I like um. You can get it pretty early, but the Warhawk. Warhawk does really well. It does good stagger. I haven't seen the Warhawk. You gotta you gotta find the painting, the early painting, and then you just go to a, a nearby cliff. That's a grace over here that I don't have. A grace that is north. Could this grace be related? To ye maiden of grapes. You get the shard bearer? What the hell is that? It means somebody that's in the fucking cowboy group managed to beat a boss, a main boss. Oh, who's in cowboy group? So you know how you can set multiplayer groups? Oh, it's telling you that? I wonder yeah. why it's doing that. I don't know. It's kind of cool, though. Alright, let's see what Red Main Knight Agha does. Red Main Knight Agha. Fuck him up. Ooh. A Great Bow Knight. Seems pretty spicy. Shoots piercing magical AoE arrows. I like that. Is that gravity with gravity? Yeah, he's doing work. Uh, and people get up and he smashes them with a... He's got a great sword. Ooh, and he... Ooh! Look at Agu go. He got health, too. Well, these guys are pretty weak. Well, yeah, but... Ooh, him go. Yeah, he could be a good range support if you have, like, a tanky... I could see, like, if you're playing, like, a great shield, you know, one-hander shield kind of class... Having him just sit in the back where he's not at risk from the enemy, firing off mm -hmm. arrows. I, I could see him being a solid choice. Right. Let's try Lutel the Headless. Lutel has a fire stick and a shield. Having him fight against a big ghost giant. He got knocked back a little bit. But he's got that great shield. He can disappear and reappear, making him a good tanky option. Can you use summons in boss fights? Most of the boss fights, yes. So
Can't tell if he's actually doing a good job or not. He's trying, but having him fight this giant. Oh, he can throw his his javelin things. He's doing pretty good. I don't know how I feel about him, but he does. He's definitely packing a bit of a wallop. Can ghosts bleed? Let's find out. <laughs> you need to go up north. I showed it earlier in the video. Just head up north and you'll find it. <laughs> Ooh, a lucerne. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever gone through this. I like concerns. This guy's pissing me off. Very dead, bitch. Ashavor Ice Spear. Sorry, what were you saying now? I said, does the Lance have a special animation on the back of your a horse? horse? Yeah. That's good. I would like to. Yeah. It, I, would, um... I mean, I, I, it's clear they want you to be on Torrid when you're fighting those guys, but it's it's like, good that you do that, you know? When you hold the heavy attack. It'll just keep the lance out like you're getting ready to joust. And so you can go pop 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 pop. Do you know what that's called? I don't, but I'm sure you're about to tell me. It's called couching. Well, you can do your couching. You can when you couch a lance. That's what it's called. Couching a lance. Yeah, I know, look at that. Don't you feel good? Founding lots of stuff that I didn't know about before, though, so that's good. You're welcome, man. I mean, I'm always here to give good information. I'm talking about stuff in the game. I know you were, all right? Jesus, I know. You don't have to sandbag everything I do. God. Listen, it's been a stressful day, okay? I understand. It's been a stressful day. I'm just trying to keep people entertained. After, really after a week, I finally found Grape Lady. I thought, just maybe things were going to start going my way. And then, and, I can't and help, then, but you can't find great ladies. And then she fucking can, vanished on me again. But I can tell you terms for medieval things. I am going to... I don't think she did this, but what if she went out into the swamp? What if she did? Let's go look what? out into the swamp. I don't think it is very likely. But... She was over here... And I don't think she would backtrack, because looking at the path before, she was here, and then she was here. Maybe she's down there. Let me, let me ride the swamp to the eastern Lunara shore. Y'all must have known each other a long time. Yeah. About eight years now. All right, chat, did you know that if you finish the Grape Lady questline, you get the magical Frenzy Katana, which does instant frenzy buildup. <laughs> on your targets. That's a rare weapon that scales 
It has something called variable scaling, which they introduced in this game. So it scales with whatever build style you want. Scales off your highest stat. Kind of like mundane, except instead of all of your stats, it's whatever your highest is. And the only way we can get this Mega Katana is through you helping me is to find Grace Lady. Grace Lady? We gotta find Grape Lady. The scrolls, the text in the scrolls speaks of a katana only wielded by those fully consumed by madness. And the madness being tied to the quest of Grape Lady means that she is the one that knows the true location. Is that the, is that the prong damage katana? Sure. I need to do prong damage. I gotta, I gotta hit that up. You sound like me with my buddies on our boat. Was that like a low-key flex that you got a boat? I think he's just saying it's, it sound like him when he's bullshitting with his friends. No, I think that's, yeah. But now I'm bullshitting, so I'm making fun of him for talking about his boat. You see how this works? It's called bounce. That's what it is. Bounce that's on a, this that's dead. another. That's another. That's another industry term. Tell us about Lubu again. Okay. Lubu was the greatest warrior archer. of ancient China. Archer. Archer. Renowned for his skill in archery, archer. horseback riding, and wielding his mighty glaive, the Sky Piercer. He didn't. He didn't he, he, that, that's not a thing. He did have the horse. He was an ultra Chad among men and he makes an virgin dweebs like Dragon scared an of his greatness. He was a tall archer. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't like Lou do you? I didn't say I didn't like him. I just said I'll just let you know who he was. Just, just, all just only an archer, nothing else. <sighs> just a, he was just a famous archer who rode a really pretty horse and just so happened to get adopted by a fat man who he later killed. That's what he did. That's, that's, that's all there really is to it. You forgot then, about his romance. Yeah, that's unconfirmed. We don't know that for a fact. In fact, most of what you know of the Three Kingdoms is not actually super confirmed. Are okay. you telling me that Dynasty Warriors it would might have lied, lied to me? I would, it might have I lied to you. I take offense When you, when to you that were like suggestion. eight and you were killing thousands of people with Dan Wei, I've got a, I got bad news for you. He didn't hold a 30-ton axe and kill everybody in front of him that way. I, I gotta let you know. I'm I, sorry. I, I'm gonna have to disagree. That's all right. I'm gonna have to disagree. I know nostalgia, nostalgia's hard to deal with, but uh, I got bad news. <laughs> Soon say the fire of Wu killed hundreds of enemies through the power of his Tomphus. Uh-huh. And you were just struggling to come to terms with that. It's understandable. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of things people are having trouble coming to terms with. Like where Grape Lady is. Where Grape Lady is and that Luber was an archer. Hang on, I just found something I haven't found before. Besides, everybody knows it's all about Zuge Leon. Also known as Kong Rong. Exactly, Wan Yu became the god of war from how renowned Kong he was in combat. Yeah, that, 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 um, listen, I know about Guan Yu. I know, you guys, you guys want to hear a fun thing about Guan Yu? I'll tell you a fun thing about Guan Yu. None of your facts are fun, Dragon. They're all buzzkills. Oh the police authorities who have shrines to Guan Yu hold Guan Yu's blade in the right hand, but he is also worshipped with to shrines through criminal empires where he holds the glaive in the left hand. Oh, isn't that interesting? And you know this how? Because it's a fun uh, fact. I learned fun facts. It wasn't fact. clear on whether or not he was left or right-handed. Yeah. That, or they just wanted to, didn't, to separate themselves. You just the spent too much time eating actually. popsicles as a kid and reading those those popsicle facts. Yeah, because there were popsicle facts about Guan Yu and the criminal empires of China. Yes, that's where I read them. I was sitting there going way too passionate on a sucker which would later lead to other things. And then I looked down, I said, oh, look at that, there's a little, there's a little factoid. I like that's that. That's how it fine. happens. That's, that's what it is. Fuck, great lady, where are you at? I know you're out here. <laughs> Come to me, my lost blind maiden, please.
I will give you grapes. <laughs> I have grapes for you. Let me feed you grapes. Which are eyeballs. But that's beyond the point. Yeah, this, that part's not really important. She's over the eyeball thing. She says, I will do what must be done to become a finger maiden. <laughs> what is the significance of which hand he was holding the glaive? I don't know, ask China. That wasn't on the popsicle stick. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a funny joke. Oh, so sorry to disappoint you, player. I need to find my way. Where is the gray blade? Eh? I need to find my way. Wherever she's hiding. Grapes are finding. Where is the gray blade? Eh? Riding on out in the forest of doom. Where's grape lady? My horse goes zoom. I need to give her very yummy grapes. Why is there a crab in the middle of a fucking forest? A giant enemy crab. That was a death crab. And I was guarding crab eggs. I feel slightly bad now. Actually, no, I don't. Crabs eat their babies. Why would I feel bad? Did you know that? Uh, did you know that fun fact, Dragon? I sure did. Also, uh, all, I want all the crabs that I've been running to are hiding crab eggs. They've got those all over the place. <coughs> hmm. Now this certainly is interesting. There is a whole little encampment down there. But with no seemingly accessible path to it. You don't have to get there. And I know that's way too far for gravity. I had to take Elden Ring break so my kid could watch Encanto for the 50th time. Well. Hey, man. When. I... That's your own fault for not having a dedicated gaming television. Well... I applaud you for putting up with it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, there's... I wish someone paid you, me, to play video games, but here we are. Robert, I got news for you. You know, Gato Capture Card's pretty fucking cheap. And, uh, if I can do it, you can do it. Trust yeah, me. Dragon can do it. I have been paid the big bucks to play video games. Oh, how do we reach this dinky little village? Let me go to the bridge. Yeah, probably something on the bridge. I mean, if you want to make if you want to make the big big bucks playing video games, you just got to go back in time, start a YouTube channel 10 years ago before it was overpopulated with everyone doing everything. Start making content, continue to make content over the course of 10 years without missing daily uploads. Foster good relationships with publishers so that you get games early enough that you're able to get guides out in time. And then just do 85 hour weeks and rush your way through an entire game before launch to have videos up on it instead of just leisurely enjoying it because games are supposed to be a hobby for fun. You just gotta yeah, do all do that, that, man. It's easy. You could do all that, it's very easy. You know what else you could do? Another fun fact. Get some of that furry money. That's, that's, they got the disposable income. That's the all one. Right. That's what I did. Right, dude, I'm looking at the fucking map, and the map shows a bridge. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, it looks like there's a path there. Maybe that thing comes down? I figured I'd, I'd try the uh, Crystal Cavern approach. That didn't work. <laughs> did you end up hating what you love? I did, for sure. Absolutely. I love what I do. But I just find it funny when people are like, I wish I could just play video games. And it's like, yeah, that's it. 
I'm just just playing games. That's yeah, it. I'm not I'm not trying to entertain people at all. I just play a game. That's all there is to it. 100%. Maybe a cave? Yeah, maybe. You need insight to see the bridge. Thank God. I did not like. I like the cave idea because I thought I saw a cave exit. Well, you keep you keep looking around. Yeah, I think I know where it's at. I lost my dedicated gaming space when we had multiple kids. Well, nothing you can do about put a, put a TV in the bedroom. Something. You have a full time job, stick with it. Stick you know what? This, this graveyard. Hmm. This graveyard seems suspicious. Is he not actually a cowboy? Yeah. Same way that I'm not actually a dragon. Everybody, don't, don't, don't freak out. But, uh, it's the way it is. Elden Cringe? Oh, you got it, dude. You got him. Jay Brady. Jan Brady. Jan's upset. Cringing. I this. found it. Oh, there you go. It's a hop. Grape lady? No, I found the way down. Which, you know, might be. Which is a tombstone climb. These are always fun. Especially when you miss and that happens. Well done. In Selden Ring, this person sounds very upset about this game. In Selden Ring. It's funny because, like, the two people on call right now are married. I don't know about Tox. Oh, Tox is totally a virgin. Okay. That's why I keep him around. You never know when you need to sacrifice a blood virgin. It's always. <laughs> <What> the <fuck? laughs> There's always a use for a blood virgin. Dragon are real. No, I'm sorry. Dragon are not real. <laughs> Dra sorry. Hey, dragons are real. Dragging these nuts across your face. Oh, ah! You fucking got him. Sure. <laughs> fucking got him. But mind goblin be laughing in the background. <laughs> oh, boy. Do you at least own a bad dragon to be kind of dragon like? No. Actually, that's a lie. Actually. Uh, a friend of mine gave Techie these cheap two dragon dildos, like, as a joke, and then Techie and I sword fought with them, and we put them in the closet, and they haven't come out since. It's been years. They probably are falling apart. Well, that sounds just like some low-quality dildo material. It was... it was... well, yeah, he wasn't gonna spend real money on a joke gift, but, you know... But it was fun to hit him with those. That was really funny. You haven't lived until somebody takes a dildo and just smacks it across your face. You haven't lived until that happens. Bro, my frames just went straight to zero, jumping down into Jarberg. <laughs> oh, I see that. He was upset. Don't worry, this guys. A... It's perfectly optimized. This is a... There's a... There are people. You know what's the funny? Sound. I find it really funny because they did all this marketing around the jar people. I mean, even in like the press kit they sent me, there's like a little jar plushie, and there's a you know a build your own draw jar, yeah. uh, you know I isotrope thing or whatever it is, and you know everyone's like, oh, it's you know, they had the jar man on the the game awards. Oh, it's jar friend. Oh, and everyone's like, ah, I love the jar people. There is literally one nice jar person in the whole game, and the rest of them try to attack you, and you have no choice but to murder them. Yeah. You have to genocide the jars. Yeah, literally. And that is so FromSoft to market. Look at these cute, funny looking jars that have feet and arms, aren't they? They're here to kill you. And you either genocide them or they kill you. Oh, okay. Is it really like a FromSoft thing, or is it just like, yeah, this doesn't look spoilery and we think it's funny so there he is i mean I, I think it's a from soft thing it's the same as like the nice mushroom people you meet and then it punches you in the face for like all of your health it's true the mushroom people did punch you 
So wait, 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 hang on. Slow down. Slow down, ghost. What is this? You don't have to pay for the walkthrough. Someone's offering to pay for it? Because I'll start What's right now. Liar ahead. First chop, try attacking. Yeah what, yeah, what are we talking about here? Hello? Hourly rate? Excuse me. Could this be friend? Try to remember, I think Jarman gives you an emote when you first meet him. Hey! I believe so, when you knock him out of the hole. What does he give you? Do you remember? I don't remember which emote it is, but I'm pretty sure it is an emote. Whoa, the Jar guy follows me. Okay, come this way, friend. Come on. Let's see, do you want to come down the cliff? You want to Humpty Dumpty down this cliff? <laughs> Uh, got some glue. <laughs> this is a weird little area we've discovered here. Those cracked pots. Finding like a lot of rare materials here that you don't usually find until like much later. Trina's lilies, Michaela's lilies, poison bloom. Arteria leaves are rare. Look at the happy jar people. First off, don't you dare. Ah, destruction. Are they just chilling? <laughs> they were dancing around the sunflower until I snatched it, and now they're just sad. Well, like what you did. You ruined the jar people's good time. Just. <laughs> Cowboy previously complaining that the jar people were not his friend, then steals their flowers. <laughs> yeah, basically. How can you do, right? Well, I shouldn't have had it sitting out. Behold, plump sword. Shouldn't have been. Oh, this one attacked me. Value. You die now. Well, you came in there and started taking their shit. Oh. Listen. If they don't want their shit taken. Maybe they should have spoken up. I don't think they got mouths. They do. One of them talked to me. Yeah, well maybe there's a... Maybe that's one of the fakers. He's got like a... There's like a man in there and that one, but the other ones are just monsters. Who knows? That was an interesting little side spot. Well, I don't know what to do here, so... I'm sorry, pot people. But I require your souls. I'm looking at this explosion. Mr. Beast gave me runes. <laughs> I'm sure he did. <laughs> did he have a million rune giveaway and you were the winner? Is that, is that what happened? found the jar village um <clears throat> I don't, oh man i think we might be dud i feel like we've 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 inched the map you know we've done what we can i guess i should stop procrastinating let me let me go just I don't, i'm gonna go to the village outskirts and i'm gonna see if i can if i see her At this point, I just need other people to discover legendary items, and then I can compare it against my list and see if it's one that I'm missing. I'm not gonna wow. find any more. I've- I've done my searching. I have been very extensive in my search. This is the, the, the 
double-edged sword of getting the game early. Yep. I have found the things that I can find. I can do no more. Walk through print. Oh, yeah, but... Yeah, really... I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to. It's not like I can... By the time I get to the part where I need these items anyway, that's gonna be so far ahead. It's not like it'll matter. I'm really debating having you, like, drop some shit for my second character just to, like, crack up about it. Be like, yeah, dude, it's a totally, this is a totally legit playthrough. And, oh, look at that. S-scaling catalyst. Weird. I just happened to find that outside the entrance. Maybe it's because I pre-ordered. We don't, we don't need a... We don't need a new character for Great Lady. Her quest line's still active. We just need to find her. The problem right now is that the location of Grape Lady is wholly unknown to me. And seemingly everyone else. Which is surprising. Yeah, right? Mm. You said you were bringing home food, so I didn't order any. Should I order some? This is the Frenzy Village. I figured... I figured the end of her quest... would bring her to the church. Because that's where Vike is. The extra life comment section has the third location, but we need the fourth location! In the extra life comment section, I'm pretty sure somebody added that after we found her on the stream. That, was, that wasn't there earlier. Chabriri Grape. Ayeta. Oh, let's see this. Third location is near the Gate Town Bridge Grace. If you look towards Rhea Lucaria, she will be there. Added on February 26, 2022 at 1700 hours. Which would be... An hour and a half ago. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that was, it was central time. That was 30 minutes ago for you. Yeah, 1756. 17 minus 12. It's 5. Yeah, so 30 minutes ago, she was added. And I can tell you right now, that fucking detail was not on that wiki at the start of this stream. Because that detail was given to me by someone via Twitter DM. Which means one of you is filling out the fucking wiki right now. <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah, I'm really mad about these people providing information on the website. I well, don't I listen. I currently seek the information Listen, on the listen. Wikis are fine. It's the fact that they auto-embed their Twitch stream into their wiki. I am, I, I am It is dishonest in, and it I'm is bullshit. I am not in disagreement. About it is that. a fucking loophole to view bot. I just don't think the regular person cares. Only we care about that. It because if you look at if you go to a Fextra live stream, thirty five thousand people watching, except there fucking aren't. There's not. Right. There's yeah, like a hundred people in chat, and it pisses me off. I, I get you. It pisses me off. I, I I do not like dishonesty in the industry, especially because I've seen them get sponsored deals. And they price those sponsor deals at, oh yeah, you know, roughly 35,000 viewers. Yeah, except it's not. You're a bunch of fucking filthy liars. If Extra stopped embedding their streams and their website, I would have no problem with them. But I do not like that practice. That, that, it deeply bothers me when I work my dick off to make videos and try to make content. And then I see somebody else essentially just farming views off of work they're not doing. No, I'm not I'm not blaming you, dude. I'm not blaming you. I get it. You're trying to help. I'm just saying that I don't 
There's a reason I don't put my notes on. I've, I've had people be like, oh, why don't you put, why don't you put your walkthrough notes on Fextra? And I'm like, fuck no, why? So they can just make all the ad revenue off of it and profit? Fuck that. Well, I agree with you, dude. I really do. But it's like, what other wiki is there? Wiki dot, they haven't been... Isn't that kind of what Vadi does? Basically, Vadi just takes theories that he's found in other places and then makes videos on them. Do you know the location of Somber Smithing Stone 7? Uh, I struggled to find that one for a while myself, but I don't remember where I finally got it. I remember I went I somewhere. Eight. Yeah, I got an 8 and a 9 before I got a 7. So I was stuck on a 6 for a while, and then I found that, and I instantly, 7, 8, 9. Where is the 6, by the way? Because that's the one that I need right now. I don't know, dude. I've, I've don't run remember. into so many fucking upgrade mats, I'd have to just Cowboy, go through videos. Cowboy did, Cowboy did make his own wiki. It's called his YouTube channel. Yeah, basically. That's that is his own wiki, guys. You watch, you're here. You're watching it right now. Sometimes, Va Video I mean, I don't, I don't know how many of Vadi's theories he comes up with, but there have been numerous people that have come forward on Reddit with like proof of theories that they had come up with that Vadi just dropped into videos and then claimed as his own. And every time the accusations have come up, Vadi just denies them. So. What's the deal with Power or PYX? Does he do the same? I have no idea about Power or PYX. As far as I know, I think he just farms up a ton of shit. Oh my god. Recent spell word video Fextra did had no effort. I mean, I can't speak to Fextra's effort. I just know that I don't, I don't agree with the fact that they embed their streams. I don't know how much effort they actually put into their own wiki site, because at the end of the day, a wiki site is largely managed by the community. Um, you know, whether they want to put work into curating that, that's that's a, a whole different conversation. My problem with them is them viewbotting. Which technically it's not viewbotting, but anyway. See the thing so let me let me explain this to people. So like right now it says I have I have thirteen hundred people watching. Every single person here is a person. Because the only place you can find my stream is on YouTube. <clears throat> but if I pull up if I pull up uh, the Fextra Life wiki right now. So if I pull up Fextra, um, immediately on the left side of the screen, Fextra Life is offline. Learn more about, uh, visit them on their channel here. So there, every single page on their website has their Twitch pre-embedded into it. So what this means is that if you look up the wiki and you're just trying to figure out, you know, oh, where did I find, where do I find this katana? And you pull it up on the wiki, you have that video muted. You know, you don't care about that thing. You're just trying to find the katana. Well you're automatically counted as a viewer for them on Twitch. Because that video is embedded, and it's embedded and set to autoplay. So, if you have 30,000 people that are all using their various wikis between Dark Souls and Monster Hunter and all these other websites, they suddenly have 31,000 people all watching their Twitch channel, even though none of those people are actually watching the Twitch channel, they're just looking for information on the website. And it's entirely possible that the information on the website was provided by community members. So basically, they're just profiting off of other people's work. Yeah, they're, they're profiting, yeah. And it's the fact that they can then take... Because when it comes to, to sponsorship deals and sponsor streams and whatnot, your current viewer count is a huge part of that. 
So they'll get sponsor propositions and be like, oh, well, I have 30,000 people that are going to watch the stream. You know, you're going to need to pay exorbitant amount of sum of money. And they're essentially like ripping off people to do sponsored content for views that aren't even real fucking views. It's just, I don't know, it's just fucking dishonest. Bro, I'm just trying to grab this one thing. Yeah. So much madness. All this madness makes me think the Maiden has to be close. I wonder how much madness one person can sustain. <laughs> it bothers me. I'm fe- in fact, I'm finding- I mean, there's these madness dudes, yellow embers, the madness ruins, Vikes up here, like, where? Where is the fucking maiden? I know it's scummy, and that's the way the world works, but that doesn't mean I'm like a, like there's a reason I will never put my content on their website. Boss is cool. <laughs> what boss you fighting? Uh, falling star beast. Falling star beast? Yeah. Is that the one that's like a big kind of beetle centipede looking thing? Yeah, it's like a fucking scorpion that had yeah. sex with an ox, I guess. Yeah, there's a couple of those around. Well, the item, the item just says to give it to her. It doesn't give any proof to where she should be at. That's the problem we're having. MOBA Fire lets you embed your Twitch stream to your V-Build page. What the fuck? I don't even know what that is. Is it like a MOBA website or something? Note, the Lord of Frenzied Flame. That probably just gives me some hints towards the Lord of Frenzied Flame for the ending. Beneath Leyendel, at the very bottom, lies our Lord, Lord of the Frenzy, the Three Fingers, who holds us in thrall. Well, we already knew that. Well, a lot of us have reluctance of switching over to YouTube, Tyler. For a lot of different reasons. I mean, honestly, switching switching platforms is always scary. Because if you've it's, been... It's spooky. Yeah, if you've been on Twitch this whole time, and all of your income is on Twitch, and you suddenly tell everybody, Alright, folks, we're moving to YouTube. Well, you gotta hope that everybody is gonna follow you to YouTube. Because otherwise, you are suddenly, it would be like, it would be like just, I mean, it's, it's like quitting your job, you know? It is. It is like quitting your job. Exactly what it's like. Holy shit, this is annoying. Exactly like quitting your job. Oh my god! <laughs> and people can say what they want too, because I know we've had this like, discussion you know, prior. But like people, you know, viewers will say things, you know, I'll watch you play in a game, or I'll, you know, I'd go to YouTube or whatever. But they, you know, you can still it happens, you, you can never believe any of it. Most of the time, that's not true. That's just, it's just not, it's not a true statement. I don't know what these guys were, but they were casting death magic, but without any death buildup. Very odd. Oh, I got hit with, yeah, I got hit, those, there's some of those dudes are in the magic place. Yeah, they're pretty annoying. 
Um, I know. I mean, it's just you know. Have you been to the to forgotten, over. forgotten road hidden in a cave behind a fake wall, which is like a maze? Uh, maybe. You know, I mean, there's a lot of of maze stuff. the The worst place I have found in this game, by far. Uh, hang on. <laughs> There's, when you make your way down into the sewers, there is a catacomb you can go into, and it is the trolliest fucking place in existence. And not, and, and not trolly in the sense of, like, sense fortress, trolly in the sense of, as you descend into the catacomb, it repeats itself down to every fucking exact detail three times in a row. So as you're going down this catacomb, you're losing your fucking mind going like, I swear, I swear I have been here. But the enemies are same, the dead bodies that are on the ground are the same, and the only way <laughs> I figured it out is I started dropping fucking, uh, uh, twinkle stones on the ground. And then as I got to the second level, I was like, there's no twinkle stone here. And then I got to the third level, and I was like, there's no twinkle stone here. I'm like, is the game despawning them? And then I finally found a path, and I went up, and suddenly I saw a bunch of fucking twinkle stones. Well... Now that, that is some... It's fucking awesome. <laughs> the madness. Yeah, it's awesome until you're going through it and you're fucking stuck and you're like, WHERE THE FUCK DO I GO?! That place was frustrating as fuck. <laughs> it's pretty funny though. Oh, it is. So many people are gonna get fucking lost down there and be like, I, I don't know what to do. Oh, have you tried dropping your stones to find your way? The one time you'd ever need something like that. Mm hmm. It finally it took them, what? It took them 18 games, but there's finally a use for the Prism Stones. <laughs> there's a sick riddle and a lightning sword which has a trap soul in it. You have to solve the riddle of the path that goes nowhere to get the sword. I solved a, uh, I found a bridge. The, the cra probably the craziest place I found aside from the Dragon Lord, because that was nutty. But there is. In the secret path between uh, the secret path to the Hallow Tree, which you have to go through a quest just to get the medallion to take the secret path to begin with, while you were doing that secret path, there's a bridge that you can cross. And while you're crossing the bridge, there's a break in the bridge. And you can jump off of that to an invisible bridge. And then you can run to like three different areas. And it's just like all three areas are invisible pathways. So it's it's three separate invisible walkways that are in an already hidden area. And I put a shit ton of messages down there. And every every now and again I'll see like three messages that has been appraised popped up and I'm like, oh, someone found it. Someone found the hidden area of, of bridges. That area was fucked. We're not doing a 100% walkthrough, so it doesn't matter how realistic it is. A platinum walkthrough is doable. A 100% walkthrough would take months. Honestly, part of the part of the big reason is I refuse to do a 100% walkthrough on this game, because even if I wanted to do one, I know that for months to come, possibly even years, people are going to be still discovering shit in this game. And I am not vain enough to make a video and say, yeah, this is, this is a hunter. I'm going to show y'all every weapon and every hidden item and every spell because I know I'm not. There's just too much. Yep. Now telling you, I'm going to, you know, this weapon is going to get you 100% of your trophies. It's going to get you your platinum. Yes, I can target that. And that's still going to target a huge fucking chunk of the game. More than enough that, you know, most people would go through it and be like, you know, I feel confident that I've completed this. But covering every every sub dungeon and every little side quest and every enemy that spawns only at night and no. Nope. Not doing it. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that either. I absolutely wouldn't want to do that. Greetings. Cowboy has more patience in these games than I do. Hey, look. Mm, what am I looking at? <laughs> A wise beast. 
Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, he, this is the only consistent late game merchant I've found. Um, you give him any sorceries you want, any incantations you want, and dude is always here waiting for you. Whereas the normal incantation and sorcery dudes I've met, they've all fucked off and gone on quests. Well, this dude, he's always here, and he's always ready to gobble up whatever books you give him. He's like, oh, blasphemous stuff? Well, there's always worth the knowledge. I'm like, thank you. Yes, there is. So he, does, he does sorceries and... Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. where's he at? Why don't you open that map real quick, please? Is right here. Church of Vows. Church of Vows. It's got an eastern side of Liurnia. Yeah. And you can heal. Mm. Doesn't matter what book it is. The Forbidden Book of Darkness Spells That Murder God. Well, there's worth of knowledge. Gobble that shit up and sell them to you. And that's, what an amazing man. Thank I you, know. Turtle he, God. He fucking thank, is. Thank you, Genbu. You're awesome. Probably the best thing is he doesn't fuck off. Truly a wise beast. Every other, every, literally the, the, my incantation dude at the start, he was like, if you need anything, buy it. I'm going out on a quest. Never saw him again. Yeah, never saw him again. The sorcery lady, she fucked off until I had a, a specific quest item for her. And then she came back. She's probably fucked off again. But you know what? Speaking of sorcery ladies, I'm going to go kill this one and see what she drops. Because. Oh. That's how you get to your six smithing stones. <laughs> there was that, there was that one dude I met in the storm castle. There's he still like, shit yes. there I missed. He was for like, anyone that is looking for somber smithing stones, if you kill the falling star beast, you get one. And he's like, he's like, yeah, you want to buy some ashes of arms? I was like, all right, I bought them just to have them. And then I think he just showed, she showed up with like broken legs or something in the fucking one thing, the the round table area, and he gave me a rapier. Oh, the and, the merchant guy, the sorcerer guy, yeah. And he gave me he gave me a plus eight rapier. Yeah, he shows up and he's like, "Oh, I can't fight anymore." Take my sword. Yeah. Makes me look like stupid anyway, so you just have it. I still. <laughs> this NPC has been here talking about you won't kill me, you won't kill me for the entire game. Well, now we are sorceress selling. It is fucking selling. What the shit? So selling, that doesn't make sense, dude. Hang on, what? If it's selling that gets kidnapped, then how did selling get- Ah, oh, this doesn't make sense. This, this, I've, I've, I've discovered an NPC inconsistency. No. In a Souls game? Get out. It's impossible. I'm almost positive. Let me see. Inventory. Key items. Introductory letter. Where is it at? <laughs> wait, it wait, is. wait, wait. Selvis's introduction. A letter of introduction written by Preceptor Selvis addressed to the Glintstone Sorceress by the name of Selen. The contents of the scroll cannot be discerned. So he gave that to me. Let's see. Now I just- that person just said Selen. Let me go to where Selen should be in the Waypoint Ruins. Yeah, but can I can I point something out here? What? You you quit so she'd be alive again, but the the fire was still in the room. No, I quit to see if she dropped anything. Uh -huh. Just to refresh the world state. And no, this is where you first meet Selen, and then Selen gets transported to the Waypoint Ruins, and then she got transported back here for the part of the quest where she told me to go to Nakron. Crazy bitch, man. I gotta remember how to get. People are saying they can't get down into Nakron. I'm pretty sure you just go this way. She be selling me sorceries. Well, if she's the fake one. Is that Nakron, or is that down into the uh, the wellspring? No, this is down into Nakron. This is after you've defeated Radon. Uh, okay. Yes, this is the River of Blood, Katana. That's what it's called. River after Blood. after you have beaten Radon, you go this way, and you keep going down. And it looks like you'll die getting down here, but you just keep fucking going. This motherfucker wants me to find a needle in a swamp. It's actually pretty easy. There's just a boss you need to kill. Oh, okay. 
He's like right in the middle of the swamp. Kill that commander, dude, and you got it. Okay. There is it is, chat. A... The hidden eternal city of Nakron. Um, big reveals. Big reveals. Y'all want to find all the... Y'all want to find the cool armor I'm wearing? And all that other cool shit I have? Y'all want to complete Ronnie's quest and get the stone? This is where you gotta go. You gotta follow the path of the fallen star that only appears after you've defeated the conqueror of stars. And when you follow that path around, you reach Nakron, the Eternal City. How cool is that, huh? That's pretty cool, right? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, that's neat. There's an item I didn't get the last time I was here. Ghost Flame Torch. That sounds badass. It sounds like a torch, but it does a ghost flame. Cool. It needs ant. Metal torch that burns with cold ghost flame. Two of the fallen hawks are probably underground rivers. Cool. So it does magic damage and it causes frostbite buildup. Can I actually see with it though? I mean, how bright is ghost flame? Oh, pretty bright actually. Yeah. Let's look at that. Imagine needing to be smart to hold a torch. Well, you don't need to be smart to hold it. You need to be smart to use it. Imagine having to be smart to use the torch. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Fire back! That's exactly why you need to be smart to use it. As, I know. Yeah, that's that's that says a lot to the common denominator of, of the fucking soul. If you're not, if you're not, <laughs> yeah, man, I mean, you might think like, oh, it's a torch, torch hot, but if you weren't smart, you won't understand that it's ghost flame, and that the ghost flame will burn you and cause frostbite. Yeah, extra hot. Wow. But I like the. I actually oh, like the hot. sun. Let's let's look at the difference in the torch casts. Huh. I actually kind of like it. You know, this this adds like a nice cool light to stuff, making pretty easy to see. Whereas this is more of a yellow light. Oh, sub bomb! It's not actually a sub bomb. It's just it just it struggles to keep up. So now I'm just getting like 80 subs at the same time. That's weird. Yes, it is. How much do you weigh? 11.5? You're a heavy load. I can bash stuff. <sighs> Nakron, Eternal City. Hey, I think I'm in some place like this. There's a couple places a place like, this. like this. There's yeah. three places like this. In I fact, went down a really, really long elevator. Yeah, you're in the river well. Yeah, that one. And I was like, man. Fight the spirit beast. I was like, this is a long ass fucking elevator. I am really glad we have the ability to teleport in this game. Holy fuck, yeah. It would be... I'm not kidding. If they hadn't have put that in and decided to just pop that off at the beginning, this this would be a excruciatingly frustrating existence. This is this is the site of one of the coolest boss battles in the game, the mimic battle. I like Placid X more, but the mimic battle—that's something fucking special, man. Because you get here, 
and a silver amorphous blob suddenly become message was appraised three times in a row let's see oh there it is the halic tree paths they're getting their ratings again uh, you come here though, and this mimic copies your character down to everything. Down to, you know, every fucking item you have on. Which is also extremely abusable from the perspective yeah, of a walkthrough. Gonna I'm gonna be like, yeah, before you get like, just strip. Everything off yeah, and strip <laughs> naked, and then, uh, you, you know, the fight's done. You're just gonna fight him while you're naked. Yeah, but that's not as fun. It's not. It was it was pretty fucking cool getting there and This is probably my favorite area in the game. It's just very galaxy. Wait, can you just like equip really heavy armor so he can't even <laughs> he can't roll? Make yeah, make him fat make roll. Him, make fat make roll. him fat roll. <laughs> just just put up to a hundred so he can't even walk. He's just make stuck him, make there. him yeah. get make him fat roll and like two hand a catalyst you can't use. Fucking uh, <laughs> 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 They just beat you to death with it. Yeah, he's that. That's Mogwin. Of blood. Yeah, you can re-equip after the fight starts. It'd be really funny if he started equipping to it. <sighs> um, and then that's Night's Sacred Ground, which is where you gotta go for the quest. Circle through here, and then you make your way here, and then you go there, and then that's gonna take you over to here. And then, progressing through the fucking main quest so much. And then get ready, chat. This is the big reveal. Here it comes. Here's here's the number one most asked question. And it's not it's not the katana. It's believe it or not, it's not the katana. It's the armor. It's the armor. Wow. And once you're over here, all you gotta do is run this way. And you have to go around the back, because you can't get up the tree. Get through the frame. You gotta get up high. This place is also tied to the hidden ending of the game, I believe. That's just a personal theory. Just a game theory. <laughs> well, you get a rather unique item from this zone. You know what you're doing. Oh my god, those dragons hurt. Oh, oh there's a lot of Run oh, on this way. And you run into here. And then you gotta beat the invasion. And then there's a chest right there. And then you can have shiny badass armor like I do. One you two can make your head look like one of the putties. This area is very weird. What's poppin', baby? How you doing? What y'all up to? <coughs> uh, they're hanging out and I'm bitching about Grape Lady. Yep. Impossible to find Grape Lady. It truly Grape is. Lady. Where are you, Is there anything guaranteeing that she's even in the same, like, zone? I mean, she's been there three times in a row, and, uh, that zone is where you go to, uh... I mean, so, alright, she- she was there for the first three times, right? Yeah. And then, hang on, I need to mark this, I forgot there's a mausoleum down here. She was there three times, and then the item I found that literally says, like, give this to her to complete her quest was also in that zone. And so my theory was that she was heading towards that item. And I have it to give it to her. But she does not want to be given. What are the mods on Die. Uh, they're big structures on the western... Or, oh, no, you mean the... Oh, no, they're not the Belfries. I was just thinking of the dude with the balls for... With balls for balls.
Did you check the Church of Inhibition? Hang on, let me mark this dickhead. What's the dickhead? The Church of Inhibition. I'm pretty sure it's the church that we went to. Yeah, I checked the church multiple times. She was not at the church. What is that spell? That spell is from Mog, Lord of Blood. Who is hidden behind a secret path to the Halog Tree and then a hidden sending gate. Yeah, no, we were we were at the church. We were at the church earlier. Prince of Death. See, I have a feeling. Time for big spoiler theory time, chat. Oh, it's You might want to leave, Ronnie. Well, you don't give a shit about spoilers. Why would you care? I, I really don't. So you uh, get, if you have half of Rhea's thing, you can come here and you can give it to her. When you give it to her, you get a unique key item. With seemingly no other purpose. I don't have it anymore. What did I do with it? Threw it in the garbage. No, I had to have used it for something. Where is it? What? Oh. oh, no, there it is. Okay. With the item effect of can be used to men the shattered Elden Ring. Rune gestated by Fia, the deathbed companion used to restore the fractured Elden Ring when brandished by the Elden Lord. Formed of the two hollow brand half wheels combined, it will embed the principle of life within death into order. The Golden Order was created to confine destined death. Thus, this new order will be one of death restored. If there's anything that leads to a hidden ending, it's this fucking thing. But... Truly, we are become Elden Ring. Oh shit, you know what? I bet... Oh my god, I know how to use it. I know how to use it. Uh -huh. Okay, no balls to do it then. <laughs> I don't know Your if it'll work with the Frenzy then. Lord. All right, chat. Uh, super, super major fucking spoilers. You're about to see one of the endings of the game. <laughs> like major fucking spoilers. You are about to see the ending of uh, the ending of the game. Bill's just over here, like, and I'm gonna beat the game. Damn it. I've already beat it, but it, this is like this is one of the endings. So I know these are spoiler streams, but this you know is like I'm mega fucking spoilers. So you have been warned. Uh, yeah, you do. Yeah. Do you want to save? Uh, yeah. I'm thinking if I go through this, I become the Elden Lord, I go back down, I can use that to repair the ring. It's actually a pretty fucking wild ending, so I'm just gonna let it play out. I don't know if you can even find this on YouTube yet. Maybe you can. World's first. World first, world first. <laughs> So that is Marika, who was housing the Elden Ring, now fading away, because there's a new vessel for it. And that vessel is you. Wow. Who hath become the Lord of Frenzy. Oh, man. This is the edgy boy ending. Oh, shit. And I'm here for a world's first. Follow me at Gorilla Meat Horse Money. Damn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at you, you eye a Sauron over here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Look at that. We have achieved maximum edge. Oh, it gets even edgier than that, don't worry. Because we use the flames of frenzy to burn the entire world. Literally burn everything down. Oh, 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 oh. I get major Hankville propane meme vibes from this. I don't know why. 
That's a clean burning hell, I tell you what. <laughs> Look at that charcoal, that's pretty clean burning propane. <laughs> I think this is um oh man. Do you think that's where it starts the first flame and the dark soul? <laughs> shut do you think up, shut the fuck you up. think you think that's what happened, maybe ish? <sighs> Just a theory. I hope I'm post on Reddit. And here's here's here's, here's the bone here's the bonus scene chat. Here's the bonus scene. Oh man. See, when you decide to become the Lord of Frenzy, the wife who leaves you, and says that if you do this, one day I will kill you, she intends to keep her promise. Oh, that's probably Gwendolyn. Shut up. <laughs> Lord of Frenzied Flame. I will seek you as far as you may travel. Oh my god, dude, these dragons slap! To deliver you what is yours. Destined death. Damn, heterochromy over there coming for you. I think she just has one eye that's dead and blind. Damn, heterochromy over there coming for you. Alright, so now I have become... Well, technically, I'm the Lord of the Frenzied Flame. I'm not the Elden Lord. Begin Journey 2. So there is a new game plus. Yeah, of course there is. Um, okay. Wow. Let's see. I mean, I'm not the Elden Lord. I'm the Frenzied Lord. But technically, I am the Lord with the ring. Uh -huh. Damn it, I still can't use it. So Damn. my theory is that right if there. I come here as the Elden Lord and I examine this... I can use the rune to go into the dream and heal him and then bring it back. I think this is the dude that was murdered. The god that was murdered. I'm not sure. It's a big fucking weird looking corpse. Well, looks like frenzied lord ending is bad. Locks you out of stuff. Oh wells. Damn, you went all hard mode. On them what can you do? You launched everything up. You said, Now I am truly Lord of Cinder, and they're like, Don't. And then Luca Mathilde's sister is gonna kill you. And now you can't repair. Now I can't repair because I mean, it makes sense because if you don't become Elden Lord, instead, you've decided to shatter the world. My character's objective was literally burn the world down. Use the friendly was, spear to know, destroy he, the frenzy spear. You know, he was trying to. Geez, that's the first flame, and you know he he's got that going. I'm it's laughing like at line. how bad this game is. All right, I'm gonna make this easy. You're a fucking moron. Just leave. Don't come back. There you go. Problem solved. You got a personalized fuck you from your favorite streamer. Have a nice day. That's a good question. What dragon spell do you recommend for your first one? Uh, probably breath. The breaths are the most effective of the spells. Well, there you go. Here's your answer. Give them some of the stink. Your bad breath. Lean over. Don't take a Mentos and just go for it. Because the other options are you could use Dragon Claw, which is pretty good, but ultimately it's just kind of like a medium ranged AOE that's targeted in front of you. And then you have the Dragon Bite, which, unfortunately, that's that one's not very good. It has a very long wind-up, and it's like, what's gonna fucking stand still long enough for you to snap at its face like a dragon? Nothing. That's, that, that's what. Uh, and then you have the Breaths, which are expensive as shit, but they're strong. 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 So what you're saying is, if you're using a character, this is what it sounds like to me. If you're using a character that doesn't use your blue bar, blue bar a lot, the breath is better because you get that big hit in there. Is the biggest you've earned, over? Yes. Uh, sort oh, okay. of, yeah. 
but I might. Never mind. I guess it's over. I was gonna uh, make Craig funny jokes, jokes about it. Uh, yeah, I was, but I guess not. I guess I won't now. I know it was. I know it was a knee bender over there. I mean, I can I can mute up for a couple more minutes. No, it's no fine. I'm gonna wrap in a second anyway. Paige needs baby help. And the dogs are going crazy. There they are. What are they upset about? Did you feed them? I don't feed the dogs. I feed the cats. Paige feeds the dogs. You can, you can just have that split? That's how it works. She feeds the dogs. I feed the cats. I see. That's a... No, no one dissed me. The dude's just been... He's been in the stream for like an hour. Just bitching about it. Oh, game bad. Oh, game just Dark Souls 1. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot. Oh, oh, there's some vid all right. I want to I want to put this put this out as a public service announcement. There's some motherfuckers out there, in chat, and I know your souls, people. So you have to just you have to you have to hold yourself back. But there are some people making some clickbait shit out there, calling this game fucking trash, and they want you to click it so you can get mad about it. Don't do it. Don't click that button. It's okay if somebody wants to dislike a game that you are way too passionate about. Just fucking just walk away. Or else you're giving them the ad revenue just because they baited you there. That's a new meta. Have bad take. Get shit. That's new meta. So just just think hard on that one. I saw some shit this morning, man. My head spin. You know, that's the that's the kind of shit that I would do if I was just down bad and really wanted to be a YouTuber. Yeah. That's it. But I'd have to be down like real bad. They're definitely down bad. Down bad for clicks. Down horrendous. <sighs> Have you 100 percent the game? Yeah, man. One week. Got it all. Everything. That's why I'm Got still every playing. Secret. So I'm still playing because I've 100 percented it, but you know. Probably more out there. I just gotta discover, so just do a little bit more. You know how it is. You know how it be sometime. Oh fuck! I gotta ride the lift up. Gross. Is selling the rune from the first boss stupid? I mean, do you want any of his items? Yeah, just, you know what? What you want to do? If you don't want his big juicy axe, cause you're a, a faith boy, then yeah, fucking sell it, dude. Dragon cracking up a cold one? You're absolutely right. Hold on, are we cracking cold ones? No, I, I got a Pepsi. Oh. Not a real cold one. Fake cold oh, one. Fuck, I, I'm not allowed to be like, yeah, if we're cracking cold ones, I'll be right back. Well, I'm not definitely, you're not going to hear that from me. How many years sober now? Many. Over a decade. I always forget about that. Dragon gets Damn, high on old. life now. What'd you say? I said dragon gets high on life now. Yeah, do I wake up? Dude, you gotta wake up every morning, man. Wake up in the morning, see the sun, start breathing, gotta feel it. You know what I mean? That's the way it is. God's show me the path, gotta get going. 13 days sober, gotta go. That's the way it is. You know what? Jeez. I'm pretty sure the dragon is just fueled by anger and aggression at all times. Well, yeah, that's true, but... I gotta say, those AA meetings sucked. I hated those AA meetings. They were the worst. There was always that guy there, and then there's like six other types of that guy there. And everybody always says like, oh yeah, well at least the coffee's good. Not always. Coffee normally sucks. But you know. Dragon Scale Blade is down in the Lake of Rot, which you access from doing Ronnie's side quest. Oh, uh, I have a side quest? Ronnie, not Ronnie. Ron. Now you're gonna make that joke after every fucking sentence of this game is dragging this and dragging that, and I haven't. About to, dra about to make dragon be dragon these nuts. Dragon, dra yeah, well, that's already happened. See, you're late on that one too. God damn it! Yeah, it's too late. Too late. All right, well, fuck me, I guess. Shit. Yes, you can get Molina's armor. Please stop fucking spamming it. You can get the armor of every boss in the game. This should be common knowledge. It has happened in every Souls game ever. Oh my God, Souls game is Souls game. Sorry, it was fuck, man. Some of these questions, man, they just mm. they get pretty bad and pretty They're obvious. With the hot take of uh, no. you know what my you know what my favorite question of the day was, cowboy. Do you want to know mine? Let me see. Where was the katana? 
Can no, actually, no, actually, me? PS4, not actually. I need drops. That was a, that was a funny that was a funny <laughs> one. But my favorite question was: you were literally not in your chair, and two people were like, "Is he AFK?" <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. The chair's the streamer. <laughs> I don't know, man. You've been eating grapes. Oh, Use your fucking oh, eyes, does, dude. <laughs> like, oh, there are bears. Why are there bears? The the does the game have snow? That one was. Oh, that one was fucking rich. I, I don't think y'all were here for this. I was running around in uh in the northern region, the one that has snow fucking everywhere. And someone else comes in. I guess it's their the first second in chat, and they go, "Ah, uh, yeah, there's a this game have like a snow region." Literally the yeah, only man. the only thing on my screen for fucking miles is snow in every goddamn direction. Snow. I hope there's castles in this. Oh shit. Like it's just it, it's it's the super common sense questions that get me. Yeah, the one those those are the ones that, that are just they go right under the nail. Every one of them. Yeah. Because that's, it's never just like one, place. it's like a it's cluster. About three in a row. Yeah. yeah. It's a cluster of people that all want the answers to that question. Is there boss armor? Is there boss armor? Is there boss armor? Oh, <laughs> hey Bill, the uh the riddle tower with the broken Remember how to do that one? Yeah, there should be a. Uh, hang on, I got. It's got a big stick that beats stuff. Want to look at it? Giant, Giant crusher. Crusher. Neat. Oh. Looks, looks short. Uh, there should be a thingy that you can just climb up. All right, not a climb up. A. Uh, there's a spirit uh, spring jump. Really just like skip it. Yeah, you jump straight into the tower. That's that's the gimmick. Okay, listen, spazzy monster, calm the fuck down, please. No, he's gotta go. Look at him go. What an ugly, ugly boy. <laughs> Man. I'm being molested by a bear. I'm being molested by a bear. Yeah, those things are so much better. I would get that thing is fucking ugly. Shout out to its mother that did the bullet on loving that thing. Someone had to do it. And then only she could do it. Oh, God. There's a couple of those. They're, they're like corrupted earth tree things. Corrupted the first song. one that you fight fucking sucks because the arena that it's in is like smaller than it is. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> There's one you get to fight later in a swamp that's literally just filled with rot. Oh, my God. They're out. I just can't stop putting The nice it. thing is oh, you don't... The, uh, you don't have... thing that we were fighting in? You don't yeah, actually no have to kill them at all. You can you can just ignore them because they're they're four, so they give you extra seeds. Who's this? Who's this? Are you dead? Oh, you're dead. Never mind. They give you seeds, but end game like I have I have seven extra golden seeds, so they're more like if you've missed seeds, you can get them from those guys. Neo 2 is on sale, complete edition. That is an excellent buy. And I am saying that as somebody who is not normally in the Super Japan time. Neo 2 is an excellent game. Fantastic game. Land and uh, capital pretty, of Ash. Pretty fucking well optimized, too. I don't know if Lendell has any <laughs> items right now. Jackie, quick, make the video. Neo 2 better than Elden Ring. Oh, watch it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Just fuck, watch it up. I think Neo 2, alright. Let me break, let me, first off, Souls makes you look loot all over the place. But, uh, but Neo 2, you get it from one guy, over and over again. Can farm, multiplayer, anytime you want, no need item. Easy game, easy life. Don't need mount, levels better designed. Neo 2, way better. Also, infinite dungeon grind. What do you do in this? Nothing. You suck. Neo 2, no misbalanced PvP because no PvP. Very true. 
PvP in Neo 2 is... Man. This is the last good, area I can think of. Something's making big, big steps up there. Do I go check? The Royal Capital okay. just gets covered in fucking ash and there's nothing to do here. I'm just confirming there's nothing to fucking do here. You expect DLCs? I don't know, man. This game's already pretty fucking big. Oh, there'll probably be DLCs. You think so? I think there'll be DLCs. It's kind of the point of doing an open world game. <laughs> hey. I have a feeling there'll be DLCs. There'll be like, you'll just show up somewhere and there'll be a cart. Well, I mean, between the sending gates and everything else, they have a million different ways they could send you places. Yeah, exactly. Surprise treasure test. What level should there I get up to be able to hold of... full equip load? I mean, it depends. What are you, are you trying to rock like light armor, heavy armor? Are you using a thick ass great shield that takes up a ton of weight? Trying to wield six ultra great swords at the same time? What are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, I got comfortable. 30, 30 endurance is pretty comfy where you can have a, a great shield and a, a solid weapon. What the fuck is thundering around out here? Oh, it's Which a gargoyle. It's a gargoyle. Mm -hmm. What's he doing? I'm getting ready to die. Yeah. That's right. Hey, asshole, come here. Okay, or he's gonna also do some bullshit. Come on, look, come a little closer. Try and hit me with your axe. Come on. <laughs> Yelled there right back at you, dude. Like that. Brooklyn was the shit. What are you talking about? He got smart. He backed away because he couldn't hit me. Either that or his character model bugged. He's laughing at you. Just snipe him. He keeps shooting us to laser. Oh, no. He's can't get back to life. Magma. We don't know when the walkthrough is coming out. Get stuff he's got to do. I don't think fire is off the Well, I don't think I have much else I can do here, so I'm just gonna. The walkthrough comes out when I find Grape Lady. So if you guys wanted to come out, make sure you go find Grape Lady and tell him the fourth incarnation of Grape Lady. Don't come back with her first appearance. We don't care about that. <laughs> Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> oh no. It's oh yes. Now you will fight. <laughs> no, it's now. <laughs> this, this fight's over. He's dead. Uh, the gargoyle really, really was not a fan of my bullshit. Dragon, look, I'm climbing the dragon. Yeah. All the all the dragons are ugly in this game. Look, I, I look, look, I'm near his dick. I haven't seen a single one where I'm it's like, a, yeah. It's a dragon it's dick. Right dragon dick. Damn, you really up in his gooch. I think I can get up here. <laughs> Climb gooch for a new area. That's the secret message. Yeah. Smack Gooch. Oh, oh, we found something I hadn't found before. Any Nameless King equivalent? Yeah. His wife's here, and she's gonna beat your ass even more. 
Because she's Italian and Jewish. And they don't fuck around. <laughs> what the fuck did I just come back to? Well, what the fuck did I just hear? You ever pissed off know. an Italian Jewish lady? Probably uh, not. No. Yeah, well, you spend some time in New York and piss one I off. Have, I've had pissed off. I've pissed off a Sicilian lady before. That's no, that's, pissed that's, off Jews. That's cl no, no. I've got Italian and Jewish. No, I am, uh... It's like half the reason I started a Jewish fraternity. It was just to fuck with my buddies. I, uh... I had to live with a Sicilian lady, my old best friend's mother. What happened to Blameless Singh? He's still in the game. She just put garlic on everything. Too much garlic. All the time. Garlic. House of garlic. Forever. Look, at, look, Dragon. Look, look, look. There it is. There is what? The I'm third massive fucking Colosseum in the game that you can't access and do anything with. I fucking... Man, it sucks! I'm so pissed off about that. I, I, I cannot... Ugh. How many Colosseums do we got? Three! Please, why How many can three, we fight in? Of these fucking things? Zero! I don't understand yeah, what they keep cool doing it looks. this. It's so well modeled. You can fight... <laughs> I know, it is very well modeled. And it's got some big fucking doors that you just can't interact with. There's not even a prompt. There's nothing there. You can't even look behind it. It's just nothing. I want my multiplayer college. I want my duels. I want them. Endless duels. I want to kneel again before the statue and matchmaking to start. I want that bad. Where is it? Oh, wait, hang on. Here's a side door. Ah, just kidding. There's nothing fucking here. I might not even make a PvP build if, they, if, if that doesn't exist in this game. I'm not even kidding. I had to deal with that in 3, and I didn't like it, and then it was locked behind DLC to actually use their arena, and it turned out their arena sucked. So I decided not even to get it. But now, what are we doing? Just here? I gotta, t I gotta tell people, come pick up my red sign? Fuck all that. Done that for years. Give me my- give me the other one. Give DLC. <sighs> Give DLC now. I still think Iron Bridge PvP was peak. Well, that was fine, but it was, you know, kind of a, a mess at the same time. But, you know, whatever. I, I'll take I'll take that, but... And that's probably what we're going to have to do, but... Just use summoning pools to invade. Well, that's what I'm going to have to end up doing, because they won't give me a dedicated arena base, which is what you guys actually want, too. You just don't realize it. You don't realize that you also want the try-hard sweats to go to the arena so you guys can play the game and have your friendly duels or friendly invasions. You, you don't. You do not want the sweats spread out amongst the game. You want them concentrated in a small area where they can be toxic as shit, like me, and then fucking you want yell at each other. In their own yeah, you That's gotta. Exactly. You gotta. You gotta keep your dragons locked up. Bad Tell dragon. Me. Yeah? Nah. So we're gonna miss my guy? I got him. <laughs> Dude, I always miss. What do you mean? Yeah, that's why I just drop. It has nothing to do with Bamco. I just don't like people discussing leaks because leaks are rarely obtained through legal means. Either they're, they're, they're you know, a disgruntled employee that's leaking details or someone that was hacking and stealing details. And at the end of the day, the only thing leaks do is fucking hurt the game because it spoils the story for people, so just don't talk about them. That's it. There, no leaks are allowed to be discussed in this chat. If you want to go watch a thousand leaked trailers, do it on your own time, my guy. PvP and the inv I mean, there's invasions. We know there's invasions. We know there's invasions and there's, there's dual spots, but... Yeah, there's invasions oh and duels, oh but the thing is, Dragon wants a place where him and his other buddies that live and breathe sweat and salt can just coagulate together and have a big circle yes. jerk over yes. which R1 is the best R1 and yes. what the proper spacing is to dodge yes, but yes, do exactly. a follow-up punish. You see, there it is. That's exactly what it is. I want my roll backstab into fucking all my roll catches. They're gonna talk about milliseconds. And We're gonna be talking and... about the backstab. 
You gonna be so talking gonna... about frames? We're gonna be talking about the frames! I think you might be able to come back to the city and get all the rooftop shit after it's covered in ash. You gonna be talking about resistance numbers, whether or not it's a good idea to put scaling on weapons. We're gonna be talking about the adaptability! Hmm. It'll be hot swapping kits in the middle of fights. Mm hmm. Oh, man. Well. That's what I want. I want my arena. I, need... I don't think that's that ridiculous of a thing. I had to change the button inputs, and there was a bug, so I did go back to default. How's the search for Grape Lady? Ah, uh, we gave up on her. She's just she's gone. Mute the guy crying about PvP. It sounds like you got evaded a lot and you're very unhappy about it. That's what that sounds like to me. Any, any, any time, I swear to God, I make a complaint about PvP, the PvE people are like, oh, whatever, man, it's not a whatever. I'm sitting there like, you can make legitimate complaints and I can't about something because what? You got invaded once and it fucking ruined your whole playthrough because you've had to waste 10 seconds getting your souls back? What a fucking... Who's bitching now? I don't know Who's fucking right. bitching now? But Fextra has Grape Lady appearing at the Gate Town Bridge in Liernia. Fextra has that because somebody watching my stream added it there. That's we, probably true. We, no, I mean, like, literally, that entry wasn't there because before the stream, I, I was like, let's see if Fextra knows anything about Grape Lady, and they didn't. And then when I went and I got her at the bridge, 20 minutes later, that entry pops up on Fextra. So, uh, thank you for telling me information that was added from my own knowledge. I appreciate you trying. Laugh out loud, I've never gotten invaded and not control all deleted. I win. You're a pussy. <laughs> Wait, what? You are an absolute pussy. What? Yeah, he all saw yeah, he alts F forwards when he gets invaded and says I win and then has a fuckboy laugh at the end of it. Wow. Absolute pussy. Real PvP, fucking pussy PvP's I was great. There. Why would you just do that? I don't know, I don't want to play the game, dude. Unbelievable. I prefer PvP when I'm outnumbered, so the win feels better when I do kill them. That depends. I like it when people fuck my ass on the... I'm, I'm gonna just throw that out there. Okay, Rob, thank you for sharing. I, I don't PvP well. I wish I had some invaders. If I rock over there, are you just gonna one-shot me? <laughs> you can't get to there yet. Uh, I could invade you, or I could duel you with a sign down, but you would just die anyway, so... It wouldn't be much of a fight. Built well in the bait, you, you know have to have a level advantage. Sorry, Ron. Cheat engine isn't out for this game. You can't be max level yet. I haven't cheated. Not once in this game. I know, but I'm making fun of you for needing to do it in the previous ones. I didn't need to do it, I just didn't want to play the game. Oh man. Uh, now. Do you know about the uh, the Grand Lift of Dectus skip? Grand Lift of Dectus. Which one's Dectus? Altus Plateau? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're talking about the side route through the ruin strewn precipice that pops you up up top and then there's a big fucking dragon? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's part of the Volcano Manor quest. They tell you to go that way. Okay. And then you meet a lady up top, and then she goes, I knew you had it in you, and then she gives you an item for infinite invasions. I thought you were wrapping up. You wrapping up. Yeah, I think so. I'm, I mean, I'm just, I'm looking at the map trying to think, like, you know, where... Where have I not... gone? You just gonna have to, you just gonna have to wait until the masses find it. I, I don't know, man. It's probably time to stop because my trees are experiencing shader errors and changing between green and, and fall colors very rapidly, so... Oh, I see that. Time, time is convoluted. That's, that's, <laughs> it's usually a pretty good sign. It's time to end. Man. The game is telling you it's time to stop. Nah, it's just the... Honestly, a little bit of green in this version looks kind of good. So much oranges and shit. You know, it was just looking at you with 100 hours on launch and it was just like, yeah, nah. Take a nap, weirdo. Ron, do you want to get your ass beat before I end? Ah, uh, sure, fuck it. Alright, pick, pick a, uh... I want to see a Ron PvP fight. Pick a... Where do you want to meet? Do you want to meet at the start? Do you want to go to Limgrave? Um... Go to the North Lake. Well, let's go to Agil Lake, Agil Lake North. It's right there. It's open. Alright, got it.
I need to get the finger. Actually, I need to go get the finger. I take it back. You, uh, you don't have to use. Like, no, 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 you don't. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put down a sign. All you gotta okay. do is pop He's the thing. to see the sign down. If you uh, do, I need to do a multiplayer password. Yeah. Yeah. Make a PVP. <laughs> should I? Should I show him? The... Just do it, cause it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It'll you're, be gonna, you're, gonna, just you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna. You need to brag about it anyway. Just fucking get it. I'm just thinking, if I, do I show him the dragon or not? Dude, it doesn't I'm level matter. I'm level 38. You it can scales, it'll scale me down. It. It'll scale I've, I've, I didn't level my vitality. It's higher it's level than dragon was yesterday. Screams. Yeah, it is, it is higher than me yesterday. But I killed uh, him twice. I'm making talk scream because I have signs, no the vitality. Signs, the sign's down, Ron. Okay. I, got, I killed his 150 twice, so I feel good about that. Yeah, gotta, gotta get those wins where you can, can't you? Uh -huh. I would be the first dude to kill you in this game, but I can't super brag about it because you can't match up with anybody because nobody's close to the invasion range. <laughs> Again, the double-edged sword of getting the Actually, game early. Actually, there are people, but they're not. I'd assume Oro, P, Vyamuf, all those guys are that level. Oh, yeah. You haven't reached out to them. Hey, let's do some duel. <laughs> Dragging him right off the bat. Yeah, what the fuck was that? Yeah, I did. And yeah. Oh, that was great. He tried to jump and hit me with the axe. <laughs> and then he just burst into a red ball of flame. And then there was a dragon head being like, hey, I'd like to gobble up them cheeks. Well, there's that. PvP. Woo! No, do it do it again. Show him the katana and how fair that is. Hold I got a drink about this real quick. Should I should I show I, him I should I show him the frenzy so spear? <coughs> I don't well the frenzy spear doesn't matter. Also, I found a counter to that. Yeah, you got one? There's no counter for the status effect, but there is a counter for something else. Just parry. No, on well, I mean that's obvious, but uh <laughs> there is, the signs down again. There's something else you can do. And it's actually kind of unfortunate the way it is. And I'm not too happy about it. Let's hear it. Kick. Really? Kick. Well, you just spam spam the kick art? Is, is kick when you're walking when thing? you're when you're walking into it. Well, it's not a it's not a meta. Let's see the un, unfortunately in all the other Souls games you had a dedicated kick button. In this you don't. In order to do the kick, arms. you have to go unarmed, which means you won't have a secondary weapon or anything like that. But kick would do it. And I've seen it, watched it, and I've, I've used it on a buddy of mine, and it just worked every time. And I was like, okay. <sighs> so I have to be unarmed. Do you like mosquitoes, Ron? To deal with, with, with great First shields or regular shields. That sucks. Ron, I don't like... the mosquitoes are coming for you, Ron. Stop it. Honestly, that katana slaps. <laughs> I know all the moves said. Yeah, 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 yeah. That went about how I expected that. Would you like to know where to get it? <laughs> yeah. He was trying hey, his hey, best. Where to get the katana? Don wants to know where to get the katana, bro. Hey, hey, yo, are the stats crazy or? Uh, kind of. All right, I'll I'll show you some now. It's not like crazy to use. No, but it's an end game item. All right. Oh, okay. One last sign, Ron. I'll show you my. I'll, I'll do a little bit of variety this time. I'll mix it up. Can he get even close enough to kick? Yeah, he, I can get close enough. You to can kick get when kick as a. You turtle. can get dragon. You can get kick as a weapon art, and you can just use it. Yeah, I know, but that just that throws whatever you're using out the window for whatever your different scaling and your weapon art. All I'm saying is, I'm gonna have to physically unarm myself in order to deal with turtlers, and I think that's crap considering all the other ones had a dedicated kick button. That's all I'm saying. All right, that, that's it. It's unfortunate that that's the that's way it is. That's kind of sick. So. I assume that wall will pretty much one-shot me. Okay, yep. Ah! Oh, that's a pretty good one. Okay, I didn't even get to use the fun spells. That was the basic spells. Oh, okay, well, still one-shot me. Well, you kind of just walked into it. You didn't try rolling I, I didn't anything. know what it was going to do. I'm gonna be honest. You gotta just roll. You gotta just, you gotta see, you gotta roll. Cowboy OP, yes, taking a 150 character against level 30s is definitely overpowered. You're absolutely right.
Or I'm just, you know, best PvP or out there. It's like, could be yeah, dude, well. you press A I mean, button. it also doesn't help that I'm just trash. So, <laughs> you press, you, know, you press A button. They're keeping score. You guys are fucking unbelievable. Let's go. It's your boy. Sign, signs down, Ron. Let's go, pussy. Unbelievable. Best of seven. Best of seven. Okay. Uh -huh. Best of nine, by the way. Oh, I can, I can make it five I wins. I get shot every time, so this is just... It's... It's getting up there right now, man. Best of nine standard now? What the fuck? Cowboy, would you say this game features balanced PvP multiplayer options? Ah. Uh, yes. Uh, no? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What did I say about the three times I've been one shot so far? No. Well, I guess we kind of we one don't know either, what PvP. Either. We do not know what PvP will look like when everybody's rocking whatever the fuck. We do not know. Scoreboard, scoreboard, scoreboard. <laughs> You're gonna just run all day? Hit me, do something. There you go. See, look at you. You got an axe. Well, if you're gonna run, you leave me with no choice, Ron. Does it hurt? I, I, yeah. How about 2v1? I mean, it would just be my spells going off and killing them. It, it really wouldn't make a difference, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, I could, I could pick... Plus that with me and Dragon? <laughs> sure. Y'all y'all both want to come in? I got my game off. I gotta do my recording. Oh, I can summon you and Ron if y'all both want to put signs down. You'd have to use the tongue uh, thing. I need to go right? get the finger real quick. I have it. No, I would need to go get the finger. Yeah, he he. Yeah. put my sign down. You put your sign down. Yeah, I would have to go get the. I'll just go finger. grab it. It's like right up the road. Yeah, no, it's just up at that coliseum over here. Question is, who's gonna host? Because that's all we'd have to kill. I would have to host. To pull two yeah, people in. No, no, I'm not doing. I'm not, <laughs> no, no scaling. Mm, I, don't I mean, that's that the. Well, how else? You'll you will literally. It? You'll. You'll. Yeah. I guess. Well, no, I guess. I guess. Tox or Ron could host and then pull one of them in as a phantom and then pull me in as a red. That would be the way it would have to do. Well, can't reds hurt each other? Don't if you use the to if you use the tongue, can't you pull in multiple reds? That's what I thought. Yeah, but I doubt any of them have the tongue because you need to beat the crazy sight thing I've at the got, start of the game to get it. I've, I've got, I've got. The I have tongue, the tongue. But I got the that guy's tongue. not very hard to kill. I killed him at like level twenty-five. Yeah, Which I guy? killed him. Nah, he bled the shit out of me. No, well, I, I, mean, I beat him. He kept walking into shit. He played like you. <laughs> You're funny. Bill, I imagine it was probably pretty difficult in the early game before you had all your spells to fight him, but yeah. it, it was, it was. You know how bad early faith is? I get like a fireball and it does like a hundred damage. That's why you gotta, I, I poked him out. I was like, nope. Yeah, it's really easy to fight with weapons. <laughs> yeah, and the weapons. I will say my, my great sword build, I'm making a great sword strength guy on PS5 and I fucking bent that dragon over so fast, holy shit. You were definitely one of the top PvP players in a, in a it says a tragedy. Oh my god, dude. You guys are gonna make me vomit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens when people get their shit. You guys can fight him. I've, I'm not kidding. I gotta start this fucking shit soon, and I thought you were wrapping up. Uh, I am. I'm waiting for to kill Tox and Ron at the same time. Yeah, I just got the uh, red effigy in the finger, so I'm good to go. Uh, I'm at the academy right now. I'm nowhere near. Oh. So what you're well, saying is this isn't happening. That sounds well, like it's Well, I just happening. got the finger, nah, so I'm not. ready to go. Come on, Tox. Just find a grace. No. Yeah. I'm killing blue-eyed skeletons. Hold on. My blue eyes white dragon. I did give the Shabiri grape to the blind maiden and then she moved again. Yeah, cause you can't host a cowboy. Nobody will do damage to you. you, you, you that's the fucking idea. Yeah, that's nobody will be able to do damage, period. Phil's just that's... over here like, I just wanna make him die. 
because I, I saw some damage value stuff and I it is it is way more disparaging than the other stuff so that we'll have to see how that goes because like a, a 150 or even like a 120 in two and three could take on an 838 that that they could still do it in this that's that's going lower than that it's not gonna that's not gonna happen not for a while. Not until people get all their crap. Everything's super upgraded and everything. I am interested to see what the late game PvP of this looks like. I, I am interested to see that. But I'm going to be honest. It's going to be people spamming fucking Dragon Breath over and over. It's going to seem like it's going to be... The Dragon Breath is going to be a big deal. Because, I mean, it just ticks immediately. There's not a whole lot you can do about it. It just ticks. Yeah. And that's a problem. And but... it ticks for like a quarter of your health. It has good enough tracking that you can't. Well, the exactly question. Well, here's. Roll it or run yeah, away. yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the big, the big pre, the big issue here. It's hard to make that call now because, I I would have to know what a similarly leveled character. To his, attacks would look like. Do they get the same amount of resistance? Is it still going to tick like in two seconds, or is it going to take longer? You know what I'm saying? There's no way of knowing that Church until we can get people to that like that point but where to find them that's a little ways away church. that's a long ways yeah. away it's about I'm two weeks level away 71 so i'm getting yeah, there but you're only way higher than i am you well you're way higher than i am but again i've kind of been putting it off because i've got to do a second place <laughs> mm. oh well, I have to record it. I have to make content for YouTube. I have to do it. I haven't done it in years, so it's time to do it. And nobody's gonna fucking watch it. Like, nobody's watching my new shit, so it's the way it is, but I have to say that I tried. That's what I gotta do. I fell off that horse long ago, and that horse is far off in the distance, so climbing back on is kinda difficult. <laughs> Or just teleport onto the horse. Yeah, just call it whistle, dude. Just call it. Just call it back. Yeah. It'll come running. I'm looking, yeah, that's what I'm trying. I'm looking around on like Twitter for details, and there's just there's fucking nothing, dude. There's absolutely nothing about the Great Maiden. It's like people are like, I found, I found her here. Like nobody knows anything about other spots. Dex backstabbers are always going to be a thing. Uh, not in this game. Yeah, no. Doesn't work all that well in this game. Backstabbing is a whole. That's that's a. It, it's harder to do than three, and three was pretty difficult. At least with somebody who knew how to protect themselves. It's, it wasn't like difficult, difficult, but it was. You didn't just walk up and do it like you could in one, and sometimes in two. Having zero views is better than minus ten. Who has minus ten? Oh no. Uh, so are we doing are we doing this two v one or am I getting off? Seems like they I don't think off. Tox wants to. But Tox is playing the game. There's nothing wrong with that. I did lots of playing the game. You seem to love this game regardless everybody else. I think a lot of people like this game. Well, I'm going to wrap up. Um, I mean, it just sucks that we found... I have so many legendaries and I still don't have the fucking trophy. It just... I know. Uh, it's just... It's, uh, it's It's surprising is what it is. Yeah, like I have a lot. And I've been pretty fucking thorough, I think, in going through this so far. No. Oh, anyway, chat... Maybe I'll finally just start the walkthrough prep tomorrow, because... <laughs> do you stream walkthrough prep, or do you just, like... No, I stream it, because that way people will backseat and point out shit that I'm missing. Oh. It's the one time backseating is useful, but... Anyway... <laughs>